I need? My fucking Prozac? I need, I need where the fuck this is. Where the- Oh, oh, it's, it, it's chemical weed! Chemical weed! It's chemical weed here! I got all this shit. I got all these pills. I got all these tablets. I got all these fucking things. I got an iPhone here. I got an iDrone. I got all these things. I'm gonna hook them straight up to my central nervous system right fucking now on Procrastinator the podcast. The PCP coincidence? No, it's not. It's all weed. It's all weed every day on when you turn to this fucking channel. The, the, the weed joke, the weed, the chemical weed that I just put in, oh, it's crazy. fucking in my lungs right now and I can't breathe. I can't breathe at all! Oh, fuck. Oh, God. We're on the PCP. It's an internet show. It's a podcast. You know what it is. It's me, Munchie. Uh, we have Digi here. God, help me. We, we have uh, uh, Danger Boy. It's the best guy's ever new character. It's Danger Boy. Uh, tell us about uh, your new character. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, I'm currently falling at light speed from the top of a skyscraper headed towards the ground. That's where I'll be reporting in for this entire podcast, so uh, I'll send you updates periodically. He's, he's going so fast that like rubber bands, the point where like he can do an entire podcast will take some to kill yeah, himself. Yeah, that's right. Time has slowed down because I'm approaching the speed of light or something. That's so dangerous. I love the <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, uh, hip it's it's you. <laughs> My drug of choice is tea. Rayman, when's Rayman two? Come on, let's be serious. <laughs> That's let's my get, drug. Let's get serious. Oh, we were all joking around, but come on. I, uh, I'll need to get pretty high for that <laughs> one. Uh, we have been. <laughs> Fuck, I'm I'm not dangerous at all. <laughs> oh my god! It's it, oh, it, no. it, it, it's it's danger. It's just danger boy sidekick mild lad. Oh no! <laughs> I don't want to see what you're gonna do, master. <laughs> I can't look. I'm too, also, I'm too I'm slave. I'm just a he's boy. A slave. I'm just a boy. I can't take the whippings. All right, all right, all right. Today, today on the Podcasters podcast, the most politically correct, like morally aligned, social, like mm-hmm. like you know, conventionally socially acceptable podcast on the internet. We're talking about fucking. Weed! And by weed, I mean drugs. We're going to do drugs. This is not just the weed podcast, except it literally is just going to be the weed podcast. We all oh. know it's coming. We all know that's just what is yeah. going to happen. So I, like I prepared. I decided mm-hmm. that on the off chance that this was supposed to be an intervention... Because I was, mm, mm. I was had a sneaking suspicion you were just gonna pull an intervention on me. So I thought the <laughs> funniest way that could happen is if I was showed up as high as humanly possible. And that bomb yeah. rip I took at the start of the show just now was so heavy that I thought I was hallucinating what Nate was saying in his intro because I thought it was too funny to be real. <laughs> and, uh, here what we an are. endorsement! What an endorsement! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, drugs. Uh, uh, Good. the Urban Dictionary uh, for drugs is so fucking long, and it's like a real ass yeah. Wikipedia article. Of course I don't it have is. time for this shit. Well, the, so, the beginning part is pretty good. Just that first little paragraph there. It, if you're drugs looking at what I'm looking are at. chemicals that alter, uh, block, or mimic chemical reactions in the brain. This causes an uh, uh, alteration of the body's normal processes, mm-hmm. uh, causing physical, faster heartbeat, deeper uh, respiration, son. Sonic the Hedgehog bubbles, etc. The, the fact that the fucking Urban Dictionary article is like this is funny. It's like a parody of itself because, like, it's making fun of how, in a way, how people who are into drugs get yeah. extremely serious when it comes to the topic of like defending drugs. Like, yeah, there's suddenly a lot of there's no memes. It's just like, oh no, mm-hmm. we need to give you all the science because like, it's like enough enough joking around. Enough yeah, this joking is what we around. put on the yeah. suits and we like you know quaff our hair back. We, we have a lot of fun far, here on Urban Dictionary, but this is important. <laughs> far better of a description is the top definition. Top definition for weed. Uh, God's gift mm-hmm. to the world brings peace when used <laughs> wisely. Pass the blunt, dude. <laughs> Which <laughs> <laughs> they think sums up all of our I mean, opinions quite nice. J- j- just for the record, I think it's we've done this before, but let's just read off. Of course, our, our, our entire podcast is drug themed to begin with, so we are the PCP. Yeah, and PCP, aka Angel Dust, is again. I, we've read this before. It is the scariest of all drugs, <laughs> yeah. according to Urban Dictionary. Was used as a horse tranquilizer. Makes the user hallucinate, become extremely violent, and not feel anything. People have been known to yeah. do horrible things to themselves while under the influence of PCP. It, 
do not use the PCP. It will ruin your life. Yeah, it definitely it is, is like is. a drug that is highly destructive. And mm-hmm. um, I am a huge fan <laughs> of PCP as a joke because of the uh, whitest kids you know skit, A Gallon of PCP, of which course. is one of my favorite skits of all time. So <gasps> when we had the opportunity to be called the PCP, I jumped on it for those reasons. When we're going to get <laughs> PCP brand soda and exclusively sell them not in two liters or like bottles, but in gallons. The oh, that would be fucking awesome. That's genius. That, we got to make a, a PCP idea. drink. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is really doable. I it's think just that, a gallon, of, really just a gallon of Munchies pee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, again, that, doable. That, that would branding. make sense. Yeah, it's still doable. <laughs> we just have munchy buy gallon bottles of water, it's, it's, fill them with piss, and mail them to people. Dude, That's dude, totally you, you've normal. You've seen how much piss I can piss. Like, 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 like all the times I piss on the show, I do it in, like, two McDonald's large cups. Yeah, I've seen the piss cups. They're fucking... Munchy, we could actually... Like, I feel like there's some people who would buy this. You have to be 18 before we can sell your piss, probably. But I feel like... <laughs> probably. And I don't know what the tax is on like Maybe. sending dude, that much liquid dude, but you know once i reach 18 there's gonna be so many content like opportunities there's gonna be so many oh, new things no. like, dude, once dick it's gonna be illegal. everywhere like, i know you know you know uh, you guys thought you saw me. a lot of eric andre's dick wait till you see fucking munchies like that, that, that's I'm com- that's coming now. up later this fucking year. With, with fucking all these ready for that shit. and with, with with all these uh, restrictions and, and limitations happening on uh, uh, on on YouTube in general, and it seems like the, the the weight of the world is shifting towards Pornhub as like the main uploading site for like most of the world. So I I just think that in the years to come, we're going to be seeing a lot of munchy content on Pornhub. <laughs> just you know, regardless of, of the of the context within. Yeah, I, it's, it's an like, exciting like, future. Like, the, the, the future... The I really TV. hope that's the world we're heading for, is where, like, porn... <laughs> porn is just into... Well, I mean, I always thought it's a little weird, and when you think about it, that mm-hmm. YouTube has banned porn, because if porn and other videos were on the same website, like, it would be more convenient for everybody. The only sure. problem is that people don't want to present themselves as having... You know, we want to keep those identities separated for social mm-hmm. reasons, mm-hmm. but if we didn't have that social barrier, if, like sex and porn were, like, just acceptable things to talk about, like, there would be no reason not to integrate those. Well, and what's that one, uh, that one, it's, like, is that video on YouTube that's, like, see a penis inside a vagina, the one where it's just, <laughs> like, a straight-up, like, documentary of what it looks like to yeah. come inside a vagina. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm that's pretty cool. That right the, the I, I'm pulling it off. <laughs> all of us in a Show sauna. notes, everybody. Show notes. It's, it's, the future of PCP <laughs> is all of us in a sauna with no towels on. We're just but like we're just pure fucking unadulteratedly naked. We're doing the podcast from within a sauna. Our, our bodies are glistening. That's a, that, that's coming up in like two years. All right, well, all right. it's yeah, okay, fucking set to porn music, and it looks. I mean, this is great. This is. Right, I mean, really yeah, it's actually pretty good. Fucking sex podcast. We already did that. Let's okay. start off with this, with, with the drug <laughs> podcast with a very important thing. Who here is straight edge? I'm straight edge. Uh, um, define straight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, please define. <laughs> I, I kind of wish I was. Well, hang I think on. I'd Let's be uh, let me let me pull up fucking Straight Edge on oh, Urban wait, Dictionary. No, no, let me do this. I know the history of it because Straight okay. Edge comes from uh, the hardcore punk scene in music, hmm. where um, c- certain punk bands, because the members of the band were so young, they had the X's on their hand that meant they couldn't drink. Um, and some of them took uh, it as like an identity thing. It's like, well, we don't like we are an anti drug band, anyways. So people started wearing those X's on their hands and calling themselves straight edge, as in like like straight edge punk was like a subcategory. Dude, that's like basically. that's like the the, the the it's like the punk version of those like purity rings that like exactly. Mormon kids wear and shit. <laughs> All yeah, right, but cool, that's what cool. that's what to be straight edge. It, like like traditionally to say like, oh, you are straight edge in like either like. Rap yeah. or punk. So, is usually so would you say it's up. like That's... it's like a a mental thing rather than a literal like I have not imbibed any of these things. Yeah, it's more it's like kind of an identity. Yeah, it's yeah, more of an identity yeah. thing. Because I have I have technically done one weed and I have done a lot of <laughs> a lot of drink of yeah. alcohols. I don't I know whether that's version. covered in this. That's book. very uh, yo, much yo, not yo, straight. Catch edge. me, catch me in the garden out back doing all the weed, pulling them, planting them, just Dude, going nuts on those I, weeds. I, I did so much fucking weed. My lawn was barren for two years. <laughs> Afterwards, <laughs> all that grass was gone and inside of my stomach <coughs> and lungs. Well, yo, all right, all right, but let, the good question. So, who who is straight edge here? I, I would pretty much define myself as basically straight edge for the for the most part. Uh, but you just drink as, alcohol. For, 
Well, but like so rarely. Like at Radcon three, I don't think I drank a single drop of alcohol the entire time, and it's yeah. because I just I mean, don't we didn't care have that much. To me, that's fair. true. I, I to me, getting drunk or whatever is just a, like a distraction. <laughs> All yeah. I am passionate. What gets me high in this life? It's one hundred percent true. Is achieving my goals and getting work done. That's yeah. all I care about or want to do. Is, is you, you don't you don't need dumb. you don't need to get high to have to have fun on, at, at this point. <laughs> no. All you need to do is achieve your goals. But I will tell you though, I will tell you though, I wouldn't say I'm a hundred percent straight edge, you know, like clinically, because I do two great drugs. One is caffeine. I've started drinking coffee basically oh, every sure. day. Uh, not much. I'm, well, that's the thing. I'm currently consuming the two drugs of choice in my life right now. One is caffeine, which isn't really that big a deal. The other is probably the most insidious drug on the face of the earth. It is a nightmare. Estrogen. It is ruining society. <laughs> Estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, uh, it is sugar. I am currently consuming oh. a gigantic pudding cup I bought from Whole Foods specifically for this podcast. Listen to me. All right, Nate, you get to be straight edge. You you are allowed to be straight edge because of this faggot ass thing you're saying at the moment. Hippo, are (laughs) you? I know you drink and and do what we. I I do drink uh, on like uh, on occasion when it's like a party and it's like, well, I need something in my hand, so I may as well. Um, so I, I don't have a cock, so I'll take a beer. That'll yeah. work instead. Uh-huh. And okay. and, I mean, it's it, that would be kind of cumbersome to hold some guy's dick in that way. Just, <laughs> yeah. while you're st- well, you'd you know, have to coordinate. A chat with you'd have to coordinate your movements really well. <laughs> like, how yeah. would, would they be? Like, like would I? Uh, well, it, you you, you arrange a big no, no, you arrange no, no, a big no, circle where it rotates around, and everyone gets their you know visit like the the part of the table with the snacks that they want. But oh, okay, go Donate on. Donate to our Patreon on. if you're a gay male. <laughs> Just do it. Patreon um, skyrockets. Uh, I think as, as literally I not... everyone in the audience thinks. Wow, that was just for me. I I think uh, the uh, what I would define as like straight edge is like if there's no reason, uh, but you mm-hmm. still think, yeah, I'll have a drink. Then you're not straight edge. Or I'll, I'll have a I'll have a smoke. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, yeah. Say. If there's no like societal pressure on you, if there's no like advantage other than state. I'm bored and I just feel like it then yeah so I'm I guess I'm not straight edge because I have drunk on streams on and and just generally yeah so I, I guess so of you drinking that I can give to the police <laughs> yes I, I am mean, there's under degrees 12 here, of years old there, there, there's degrees of straight edge and and I guess being Wait, no, not straight not. edge no there's fucking not that's the whole point being straight edge is like an absolute identity commitment but, but I mean but I do once in a while then like, you're not uh, fucking straight edge you fall short you I mean, fell well, short for, for what it's worth no, Nate, you're like that, you are, you're like I, that well, guy in Scott Pilgrim okay, who ate the chicken parmesan the and so he's not vegan anymore can we yeah. address the fact that Nate is staunchly anti-identitarian in the first place and therefore I should mean, not even begin to describe himself as straight edge when it's like an exclusively the term exists for identitarian purposes. It's like I I, I mean also yeah, I for guess practical so. practical purposes so we can identify how much people care about drugs in the in the course yeah. of this podcast. I mean, I would describe the origin sure. of it as very similar to the origin of the term social justice warrior when like they actually called mm. themselves that and then eventually, like, people started... In the same way that people now yeah, call people, yeah. oh, you're, like, straight edge, because they're trying to say, basically, we're not going to invite you to I, a party because uh, okay. we think you're I, boring. I feel like there is a practical usage of the word here that just means someone who doesn't consume, like, drugs or alcohol exactly. on a regular basis. Exactly. I mean, uh, I don't, is there another word that I should use instead for that? Like, clean? Just or? say, I don't drink because I fucking care about my body, you know? Like That's, like, at least two more words. <laughs> If you don't, if you don't do it, if you if you don't do it on the regular, if you just do mm-hmm. it uh, very very occasionally, then you're straight edge. Um, and I would just say to help that, like that's because that's like, the core the reason he's not. If drinking. you do it uh, like mildly to all the time, you are bent. You know, it's funny that you say I'm a health nut. Like, to, to, in my mind, to all the actual health nuts out there, I'm an embarrassment and, and a disgrace that you I'm even eating sugar right now. You cans of beans at all. Like, that is to be a health nut. Like, all I, I eat, just, I, every time we go grocery shopping, we come home and immediately eat a Lunchables. That is the first thing that well, happens. Well, okay, uh, so, see, see, men terrible. of your, men of your <laughs> lifestyle live in the depths of depravity. You can't even fathom how high the ceiling is, how high the ceiling can be. Yeah. Well, I'm my, like, my I'm parents like... are vegans, so I I absolutely well, okay, know enough. where the ceiling can go. Right. But like, <laughs> fucking, but you 
uh, vegans still eat sugar though, and sugar well, is death. Sugar Steve, is I, I want to ask you though, Nate, if you yeah. did not like. If you mm. had given up on your body, like if you decided you were like, oh, I can't yeah, be passionate man. about this anymore for whatever reason, something else is more important. Do you think you would take up casual drinking? Like, uh, uh, well, no, because the the reason I don't drink is specifically because like it just is like a night waster, in my opinion. Yeah, my like, so that's what how if I you feel were in a situation it. where you like had to waste nights though. Like oh, there was well, no I mean, choice. If, if, I mean, yeah, if, like, the night is just, if I'm, like, at a Christmas party and, like, I'm there just to hang out and, like, I can't even work if I want to, yeah. at that point, there's no reason not to drink. So I what would if probably things consider were different it. different and the reason why you don't like something didn't exist? Would you do well, it then? Well, no, I mean, th- like, that's well, a real, like, if, when I go to visit my parents around Christmas time, like, I can't even do work if I want to. So there's no reason to not drink. So I'm much right. more likely well, to what, do what so. What I'm saying, what, the reason I'm saying this, Munchie, is that, like, I want to characterize him as, like it's more about mm. his health and like and his productivity whereas i feel like yeah, people yeah. who are like sincerely straight edge would not have drank even if they had to waste the night because they are like against the existence of these drugs you know that used to be me i'm not like that anymore when i was like a kid i was i was legitimately okay. like, scared of alcohol but we'll talk about that I, later. I, I thought of i thought of the thing yeah. we, we, we've got straight edge which is that yeah. which is you would mm-hmm. not oh, take it even if, if, if yeah and <laughs> then you. you've got bent which is the middle and then you've got twisted bent. which is like the the hard twisted Yo, coming to what? I mean, you can actually measure when you eat, reach each of these phases. If you're someone who (laughs) just like smokes a little weed every now and Mm -hmm. then, you're bent. If you're someone who just drinks every now and then, you're bent. If you're someone who does both, but like not together, you're like fair you know you're like getting there you're, you're starting you're, like, to get turned. a good yeah. curve you're turned yeah. at that <laughs> point oh, yeah. if you do yeah. both, oh, you are the middle ground. but if you do them Damn. both at once you are twisted you're twisted so, there you go okay that sounds okay, good to ben, me are you straight edge <laughs> no i am <laughs> worthless everyone please oh. in the comments to let me know are you straight edge Bent, turned, bent, or twisted. Turned or twisted. Yeah. Hashtag it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hashtag, it. hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag bent, turned, etc. Oh, oh. Also post um, that on Twitter with those hashtags and get those uh, trend. Make those memes. Make them trend. Make, like make <laughs> yeah. somebody make a graph of this and make yeah. that a meme. Uh, uh, oh yeah. I was just about to say, check the show and make sure right you now, tag us be... in it. God damn it. Tag the, it with the yeah. PCP. Put our logo on there. there yeah. We'll give you the be... PNG. There, there, there will be a straw poll in the, the show, show notes, notes right now. Click which one you are. You, you, you're, you're straight edge, you're, you're uh, turnt, you're uh, twisted, or, or you're bent. There's a straw poll. Yeah. Go vote there. And we'll, I'm going to we'll guess the right now. For, for next I'm going to guess right now majority of the audience is straight edge. I'm going to go over 50%. That's my guess. I'm going to go say 40%. I'm 35. I think we have a lot th- of like – Straight edge I think we have a lot of potheads who don't comment as much because they're too busy That's possible because they're too fucking high, <laughs> yeah. dude. I, I think it's gonna be like thirty percent straight edge, then like thirty uh-huh. percent like bent, and then like it'll like 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 a little bit of them are twisted, and like more of them are. Uh, I I think uh, I think that the the sheer scope of the straight edge selection of our our fandom will make Ben's ca- uh, a gigantic body look minuscule by comparison. That's what I think. I don't know um, why. Uh, I, said I am that, but a what? massive human. <laughs> <laughs> I am a titan. <laughs> so, so Ben, do, do you just like drink regularly? Is that a um, thing that you not do? even yeah. that? Yeah. Well, you know, I go through I go through phases with stuff. Like for I will go like a long time without like drinking or smoking, and then mm. at some point maybe I'll pick oh, one I forgot up. You and, and, I'll, and I'll do yeah, it for yeah, a yeah. while. Tobacco, that is. Yeah, yeah, tobacco. Yeah. I don't. What, what, oh, wait, wait. Where does vape like fall? Yeah. yeah, where does vape fall on the on the straight edge? Okay, yeah, people argue about that. I think mm. that the evidence is pretty good that, that vape is, if not, like, healthy. At least not mm. anything you really need to worry about health-wise. People fucking try to debate Cures me cancer. about that. Cures cancer. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, so, um, so, you know, I guess that, I guess, I, I don't know. I don't know where I that mean, falls. Yeah, okay, okay. I mean, uh, but, but does, so, so doesn't some, do so that for, much bad either. So I'll, I'll, like, sure, I'll go for long much. periods without well, doing your lungs. it. It's bad for lungs. I'll go for long periods without doing anything like that. And, like, I don't mm. like doing it. It doesn't feel good, and, like, mm-hmm. I feel worse about myself when i do it um, sure. because it is it's just a big waste of time it's a big waste mm-hmm. of money waste of money yeah, yeah um i only do it when i'm sad and when i feel like life isn't worth living anyway well, well see that well, that's, that's, that's no that's good that's no good you to stop you need to listen to what your body's saying to you 
my like, body, if, my if, body is saying, destroy thyself. <laughs> if, if somebody's doing drugs because they just want to have a great time, that's one thing. If someone does drugs as a retreat from the real world, I mean, that to me seems like that's the biggest thing to be avoided. I, I will well, tell they, you, like drugs have never been that enjoy. I've done, I've done some like drugs, like drug yeah, drugs yeah. that have made me trip balls. Um, and I don't. Okay. I haven't. I mean, <laughs> it nice, ha- nice. I haven't really liked it or wanted to do much. Yo, of p- it. picture Ben. Picture Ben downing a Tylenol, stepping into a room full of little marbles, and just be like, "I'm tripping balls." Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Falls into a ball pit yeah. hilariously. Yeah, that was Ben. Okay, yeah. all right. I drank two rock stars in a row, and I fucking <laughs> and I had visions. I, 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 I shucked two Advils onto the hibachi grill, and I smoked those guys <laughs> whole. I, I gotta yeah. say about that thing about whether or not weed is like mm. healthy. Um, yeah. So I have smoked literally every day this year. Like there has yeah. not been yeah. a day God. that I have not been high for most of the day. And okay. I gotta tell you, okay. it is definitely not good for your lungs or throat to smoke there the you amount go. that well, I do. Right. There well, is no like shit, it is dude. no. I would even say it's really bad for your lungs and throat. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to make this into a dark place. But like Digi's voice has undergone something yeah, of a transformation in the last while, uh, which is another reason you should uh, stop. But I mean, uh, you know, okay. there's a. First of all, I think my voice sounds great. I mean, I sound like shit right all now right, because I right. literally took like a world-ending bong rip at the start of the show so that that's but that's what i mean like (laughs) it's not as though it permanently damages your throat like i mean it can eventually erode your throat away if you were to do if i were to smoke the way i am now for the next 20 years i will sound mm -hmm. like fucking you know johnny cash on his deathbed or fucking sure uh, sure. uh, what's his name the gotta be a chocolate jesus you know what i'm talking about (laughs) uh no (laughs) george harrison (laughs) oh no no, the weird tom waits that's the guy i'll sound like tom waits if i fucking do this for that long however and i don't intend to this is just because i'm like i just discovered it and it's fun and i can get away with it for like three or four years you know Mm -hmm. um (laughs) until i have three four years okay well once i have kids i'm not gonna smoke weed all the fucking time but, uh, so, yeah, sorry, my fucking mind just went completely blank. <laughs> um, well, yeah, we are just talking about, uh, uh, throat. If it, if it, if it's hurt, if it, there are harmful yes, health it effects. Fucking, it definitely hurts, like, to, when you take a gigantic rip, you're going to, like, I have coughed up, like, I've, like, vomited oh, from God. my lungs. Like, I've vomited flesh. Oh, boy. And Jeez. that shit is Jeez, disgusting Louise. and it hurts. Yeah. And some and if you go out in the cold while well, you have like smoke in your lungs, it fucking oh, hardens Christ. in your lungs and it feels like you're dying. I, ooh, so don't do that. Story. When I was in Poland, I would smoke on my balcony. Um, and it was winter time. I was there in Poland in the winter, and as you can imagine, it was bitterly cold. And I and from from smoking on my porch in the bitter cold, I developed a cough that lasted for months. Like even into the spring and summer, I was still coughing from all the from how much I had fucked up my insides doing that i think it was mostly the cold actually but the smoking surely didn't help and that's drugs my story are great. drugs are really nice because they give you a uh, fleeting satisfaction that's that's really nice and yeah. it makes you yeah. cough for literal months afterwards that's a real uh, great yeah. use of yeah 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 um, I, guys, I don't know if this you know, is okay. It's a, it's a I, trade off, but it's worth it. I'm sorry. I was still on the search for uh, see penis inside a vagina on YouTube, <laughs> and um, I found a video I found it called. Immediately. Uh, uh, well, I, I actually didn't find it, but I found another one called Two Brother Inside She Elephant Vagina. And oh. it, there's that, a man wait, I, inside I didn't, see elephant vagina? I didn't see that TBAP episode. I didn't see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that this, I was thinking. You know what? I'll just link it to you. We, I don't know. Like, like, will we get in trouble if we put this in the show notes? Because it's on YouTube. It is a man inside an elephant vagina getting fucked, and the elephant comes all over him inside wait, the elephant vagina. Wait, the guy is getting okay, fucked? So this, this is the from, guy, like, a movie. Yeah. Wait, yeah. the guy is... I don't understand. Is his is you know what? This is fucking madness. How does he breathe? Is, I'm not clicking I, on well, it. Well, it's a pretty big hole. Is no, he no, wearing no. the guy's not? It, it's it's there's there's I'm a not clicking on the, it. there's a man inside <laughs> of an elephant's vagina, and the yeah. elephant yeah. is getting fucked by another elephant. So there's a gigantic Wait, dick like passing yes. over his head and coming all right. over him. How does he not? 
Just watch yeah. the clip. It's right there. I like, don't want to watch the right fucking now. clip. It's, Look, there, there's a lot of room. There's a lot of room. It's not like real. It's like a goofy comedy movie, like retarded fucking. It looks fake as shit. Like, is it Freddy got fingered? It looks like it's similar to Freddy got fingered. I don't. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie, so maybe. Oh, I just saw the comedy. Yeah, it's pretty okay. You know what? This has nothing to do with drugs. Oh, hey, how about porn? Porn's a drug on your brain, right? No, it kind of is. Probably. Okay, okay, okay. Here. Let, 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 let's let's, let's retain some shit. order here. Let's let's get back on fucking track. Sure. I want to say in my opening statement: weed use, and again, this is going to be like the weed cast. Weed use is not inherently a problem. It's weed overuse that's the problem. I don't care if if, if you're if you're no uh, uh, if you're what's the term bent. I don't care if you're bent and you just want to smoke a bowl sometimes. Uh, I don't want to be around you while you're high, but like you know whatever. I don't care. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. But when you are twisted, when, when you reach digi levels, that's the yeah. point when uh, shit go- starts to go south, and I start not wanting to be around you or associate. Oh with you. shit! Oh no! <laughs> this this is it's the intervention. True. I mean, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I had a friend, yeah. uh, a Nick, when I was young, who um. He like we would like do weed occasionally, and he would just be around Dude. and watch everybody uh, like get high, and he just enjoyed observing and being like well, the one non-high guy. It's, so there's there's an element of that. That's it's like, kind of fun. It's like in Tails I, gets I, I trolled I when when Tails and Cheeto Man are uh, you know yeah, they're trying to yeah. they're trying to get high, and Doug Funny wants to hang out and smoke weed with them, and everyone's <laughs> like, oh, we don't want to hang out with Doug, but Cheeto Man's like, nah, Doug's cool, Doug's cool. But then Doug's get Doug gets too high and gets really <laughs> weird about the time that Skeeter gave him a hand job, and then he and then he bites Spyro's dog, um, and. <laughs> and then and then he throws up from weed and Tails makes fun of him for being a lightweight. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know what it's the like relevance that. of the story. I just wanted to talk about <laughs> that for a while. When's that fucking like lecture coming out? Probably in like a week. Okay, okay. cool. All right. Maybe All right. even by the time this is out. Tails gets Yo, Munchie lecture, lecture out now, everybody. Munchie's yes. lecture is yes. out on his channel, Spirit so go watch science. that shit. Hey, you, you have to send that to Dick, did you? Oh, I did already. Okay. Oh, Joe. Well, there you go. There Dope. you go. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. what, what, what were we talking about, Munchie? What talking, the fuck were we ta- on right now? We're talking right about now? how I don't think weed use is a problem, but I think that weed overuse is a problem. It's a, it's a matter of scales. Well, a, di- a different <clears throat> in amount comes a different in kind. Well, uh, you know, here's the here's the real shit here is, like, what does someone want to do with their time? Uh, yeah. Like, I, yeah. I, 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 I don't think it's fair to criticize people, even if someone who gets blasted out of their mind every single day and just doesn't do anything productive. I mean... If they're, I, this is just how I feel about life in general. I'm totally like egalitarian here, or, or uh, um, libertarian here. As long as you're handling your shit, what's what business is it of mine? Uh, like what you do with your free time? It's got nothing I, to do with me. I would me. imagine that would not be your position because I thought you want people to be productive and, and well, to no, do their but work. And I do want I mean, people to be productive. I, I, it, it, there's two things happening here. On the one hand, you people can do whatever they want with their life, and I would like them to be productive. But on the other hand, if you come to me. Having not been productive and say, listen, I didn't get my life together. Please help me. I will look down and I will say no. I will say die. <laughs> I will say y- no. I mean, uh, I got to tell you, you know. that, like, weed has made me way more productive than before. So, like. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. You know, if every if a person can do weed and be more productive, fantastic. If they do weed and they're not productive, I mean, that's Fuck. their business to work out. It, the, the, uh, the great you know. thing about being high all day is that you pretty much can't really go anywhere or do anything anything so you, all you really can do is work it's like i'm just here at my desk mm-hmm. with what's in front of me um i know i want to do at least eight hours of work today so let's just get extremely blasted and zoned in put on some good music and fucking just work all day you know that's been like mm-hmm. oh, that's mm-hmm. been just like every single day for uh, as long as i can remember at this point Great. Which is like three minutes, <laughs> well, basically. Well, uh, so we, we can't judge because what I your life no is like. Because I have memory cells left. Sure. But you, you're you basically a public artist. So, like, you you know, it, it, that, that works for you. You, you can yeah. do those sorts of things. And we obviously don't have insight into, like, your day-to-day life. But we can see what's been produced. And yeah. so that that's the one window that we have to, like, critique, such as it is, you know, the, sure. this this change in the, lifestyle. Th- there are two pillars that hold up my entire mm-hmm. being. And this goes back to mm. the furry episode. There, there are two, like, like tenets of my entire personality that are completely contradictory to one another. And, and, and I have mm-hmm. to battle them on a daily basis. The first pillar is you can do whatever you want. And the second mm-hmm. pillar is don't be retarded. 
and, and, and those are clashing constantly. So, like, I agree, <laughs> sure, people, people can do what they want in their free time, you know, sure, it's if it's recreational, you know, whatever, but... I don't want to be around people who are retarded, and I think it negatively impacts them on a social, economical, and just, like, like f- health, like physical well-being. I think it affects them mm, on mm. multiple levels. So, wha- like, 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 sure, I'm not going to fucking call the police, but uh, I think that you pr- should probably think twice, and this is my opinion, so I'm going to fucking say it. You know, I, I hear you on that, Munchie. It, it reminds me a little bit of something, though. I think you're being a little bit... I mean, it's, it's, it's totally understandable. And, like, you're probably right about most people doing these sorts of things. But then I think to myself, you know, not everybody fits the exact mold. And really, like, what what they should do is necessarily in line with, like, what the most average person in society should do, a.k.a., like, you know, not go crazy doing drug. Well, like, I'm thinking of, for example, I was on Twitter yesterday, and I tweeted out, uh, like, a video from um, from Whiplash, uh, where the, the kid, the main kid, like, breaks up with his girlfriend because he's like, listen, all I care about in life is drumming. That's all I want to do. Therefore, I don't have time for a relationship, so I'm ending it here. And, like, the girl, I mean, and just everyone's response, I, I tweeted out about how inspirational I found that. And, I, you know, I didn't really articulate because it's Twitter exactly in what ways I like that. I just admire his, like, commitment to his goals. But then, like, everyone starts being like, um, actually, he, uh, like, is really shit, and he shouldn't have done that because it's, like, bad, and you need to live a balanced life. And, mm-hmm. like, sure, if you, if you, like, are a normal fag, then, yeah, you'll probably be happiest in life doing this that sort of thing. This is why I fucking hated the princess and the frog, because in the end, the message yeah. was, like, if you don't have love, you can't just be a strong, I, powerful I woman. straight you up, the, that, that is my favorite Disney movie, because I just ignore the ending, yeah, and I just it. don't, I do not learn, I just watch the beginning, and I'm like, this is the perfect woman, I love Tiana yeah. so much, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so, so, like, well, people, well, people are really eager, my, my point is that people are really eager to, like, want to say that... You know, Blanket people statements. should live their life. That's exactly it. That's it. But but there are lots of individuals. Like like in Digi's lifestyle, it seems to me that doing lots of weeds is not going to inherently be necessarily a problem, uh, to a degree. To a degree, because there are things like. Well, yeah, go, go on, Munchie. Do, two things to that. First of all, this yeah, isn't yeah. any different than the Furries episode. This is like a mm-hmm. blanket statement to uh, sure, appeal sure. to the general audience here. There will mm-hmm. be outliers. There are people who do not, you know, they even though they are twisted, they live perfectly, <laughs> like, like serviceable lives. There are tons of musicians yeah. and things who smoke weed, and, you know, they, they mm-hmm. you know the fucking mm-hmm. Beatles smoke the uh, bowl a day. And, yep. you know, they're yep. the Beatles, so it's fine. You know, I, that was, I was about to, to, to go into a point about that, because, like, mm. as well, much as I absolutely... Hold on, bitch. I, I was in the I'll, middle of a two-point thing. Well, f- <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> oh, Gib will go after. Just hang on. Put a pin mm. in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so there, there's, like, you know, you can... Uh, they couldn't it, have it's, smoked it's just a matter only of scale. a bowl It's a matter of scales. It's a matter of overuse, and it's a matter of, uh, like, not just, you know... Uh, doing mm-hmm. it because you want to is a matter of overuse and me being around you. So like, like well, okay, I, is that I, are you being selfish to... there though? You're saying what you want them to do for your what, benefit. What, what has this entire podcast lead up to this point? B. It's us shouting this, uh, shouting our opinion at the audience and pretending that yeah, it's all right, all correct right. and and what should happen. <laughs> That's what this entire podcast has been for. Like what, like a hundred episodes now? Why now yeah. is this a problem? Yeah. Why now is me saying what I think the world should be now? like suddenly like twisted and, well, and you know devilish be- because your reasoning is that you want to impose what your standards on other people that's and you know what, what, Nate that's what you do every day and that's not a problem that's just how you believe well uh... I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty careful to make You're sure that impos- I people Nate, understand you are right now imposing the belief of that, what, like, that people that, should do that, what they want. Yeah, that's exactly. My... As opposed to like the you <laughs> well, know, sorry. what if Munchie holds totalitarian beliefs that we all need to be like under God and that like I thought oh, you were going to say okay. he was imposing the beliefs that Munchie those don't right win. Fucking now, I'm not okay. saying I want to ban every every like ounce. No, no, of no. I wasn't. I was just. I wasn't saying you actually thought that. I was being rhetorical. Okay. Of course. Well, okay. Gib was chiming in with something. What, what, what about sure. the Beatles? Well, Tell us. Well, it was it, uh, the thing that I have <laughs> is that mm-hmm. as much as I absolutely hate to admit it, mm. um, weed and drugs and mind-altering substances, despite uh, how much I hate this idea, do actually result in artists being really creative and cool. Mm-hmm. They they have and will and do result in really cool stuff, but the problem I find with like s- things 
is that people aren't doing the hard stuff anymore. I think people should be stopping weed because it's baby shit. It's too mm, it's too yeah. weak. It's got it's got two three of the letters in weak are in weak. <laughs> <laughs> three and, of them? And Wait, only two. It, or, no, three. <laughs> that's idiot. most of them. Wait, like like weak as in like 7 days. I mean, that's yes. accurate. <laughs> oh, and okay. and fucking they should be doing they should be doing the hard stuff. They should be doing LSD, they should be doing acid. PCP. Fucking PCP, yeah, Red yeah. Bull, like all uh, that uh, bath really salts. dangerous do a lot of bath stuff salts, that will everybody. kill you. I found uh, so that we can make like <laughs> new new Beatles stuff, new Pink Floyds. Well, g- g- give, like give. I I want people to be incre- But the thing is, th- mm-hmm. weed is like quantity over quality people smoke all the time and it's the amount of time that they're out of commission they're not really more creative they're just sort of like Ugh. but they're not yeah, like they're not yeah. like putting themselves at risk that, well, like tell, if, tell if me if they put themselves agree. at risk they would die I, more and they would be i doing agree with less that in in so far as um I, i'll tell you because as you experienced firsthand because you tried to smoke with me and you kind of didn't have that much and it didn't end up getting you high at all right um yeah. And it very much is just like drinking. It's like how much you put in is how much you get out. You can have a couple beers and get a light buzz and just, you know, carry about your day. You can have three or four beers and be like, hey, I'm having a party. Or you can get obliterated and, like, you're going to be the life of the party, but you might not remember it tomorrow. So it's a risk, you know. And with weed, if you get that high, like, you get so high that you're going to, like, see shit and, like really fucking deeply experience the media you watch and all that shit. Like, you have to be willing to risk the fact that you're going to be on a bad fucking, like, you're going to think about a lot of shit you didn't want to think about, about your past and all the worst things that have happened in your life and, like, how you're a piece of shit. And you can't escape that mind prison and you'll be there for hours. Like, if you cross that Mm -hmm, threshold mm -hmm. into being what I call mega big high... If you are mega big high, you're going to just cross over into this other world of which there's no escape. And that's why most people, I think, like me, who the first time I smoked, I got that high and it was like a fucking nightmare. Um, People Mm -hmm. who Mm -hmm. tend to end up that high when they smoke are just like, I don't want to do it regularly. That's how I felt when I did it. Right, exactly. I feel like like people, like like Munchie, I don't like people who smoke. I don't like the smell. The smell is like... I mean, I have a story about why I hate the smell, which I can get into later. Okay. But, like, the I don't like hanging around people who are, like, intoxicated or, in, in some way, slightly beyond uh, normal. Well, I, I don't uh, like so, that so personally. So prefer, I would prefer people to just mm-hmm. not drink and, and, and smoke, like, every day, but to, smink, uh, to do it, like, once a month, but get so drunk or so high that they do something incredible. I would, well, see, I would, yeah, I would prefer yeah. it to be like an explosive thing rather than just like a, a like a small burn throughout the entire of their life. Like if you're like out dealing with people who are like drunk or high and like you don't know them, like I personally am pretty pretty wary of like just I, they, yeah. you know because they're unpredictable and it's like yeah, well I, I can't okay, I don't know I do not want to interact with any like high or drunk strangers. I don't I don't understand yeah. like the idea of going to a place where like you know everyone's drunk. And you don't know who any of them are, but like everyone there is volatile, and like you yeah. know, that, like if I'm gonna like be if I'm gonna be super drunk or high, I'd prefer to be those around people I know and trust because I'm in a mm-hmm. more vulnerable mm-hmm. state, you know. I yeah, totally. Uh, but but hey, Gib, oh, Gib, I, let me just I just want to clarify with Gib on one thing because I just want to I I liked his point and I want to expand on because I think I agree with it. It's like so, Gib, you were saying before about like you think people are just like they're doing it too much and they're I don't know maybe you mean like using it as a crutch. It's because like wh- qu- yeah. quantity of a quality, like the the amount of hours uh-huh. you spend doing that thing when you could be like you know chugging a big yeah. old whiskey bottle and going insane just one time a month instead. Oh. Oh, well, okay, I see what you mean by that, and that's that's basically more efficient. What I, what I see, I actually, there's a lot of people I respect in the world, like musicians and whatnot, who who do a lot of drugs, and that's all fine. And you know, the Beatles did it in their most famous band ever. Like to me, it to me, the way I think of it is, there are like people alive right now, like guys like Sam Harris, for example, who he's a neuroscientist uh, uh, and he has done a bunch of drugs because he he's like an atheist. He doesn't believe in free will. Uh, I, you know, I find him a pretty inspiring guy and he has done really hard drugs, but the point is like, he's such a serious guy and he, he has like put in the work 
to put himself in a place like he's gone like as far as he could go the, like practicing like meditation and yoga as a way to like understand human consciousness which he's really interested in but then like you, you get really far with that path and then you start to like your gains start to level off from your understanding and once you've like become self-disciplined and you've done this research it's at that point where i think using drugs to then push yourself harder than like a human being could go now that you've put yourself in a position where you can actually capitalize yeah, yeah, on this that like then doing drugs makes sense because then you'll really be able to appreciate it. Whereas opposed to like, if you've got like, uh, you know, like an 18 year old, like a uh, college dropout or 20 year old college dropout just sitting at home is like, yeah, I'm going to do weed and I'm going to be like the greatest musician of all time. Like never practices, yeah. like never yeah. does I mean, anything. Well, okay. That's, That's definitely a part of the but, aspect of like, of the yeah. thing. Cause like if, you, if you're the sort of person who uh, obviously it's dangerous, but like mm -hmm. it does have like more impressive results than just doing a weed every so often I wanna, I wanna to do an get, LSD. I want us mm -hmm. to get away from the, like, the both the artist and the burnout side of it for a bit because those are kind mm -hmm. of I think like stereotypes about like people who smoke weed but I think yeah, I the vast anything. majority of people who smoke weed are just normies who smoke it to literally like because they work a normal ass job and they don't do anything afterwards wait you know hippo I just want to That's say that, I, that, that, I, that I don't that I don't <laughs> even disagree with you and I, and I have that right down here in my notes that like like mm -hmm. again it's it like if you're an artist and you want to take a weed or LSD, you know, like like you know, twice a month or whatever. I don't you know, I don't have hard numbers or anything, but you mm -hmm, know, if you want to take mm -hmm. it every once in a while, casually, I have no problem with that. It's just when it becomes a part of your identity, becomes a part of yourself, becomes something that you do every day, part of your routine. If you can't eat without weed, if you cannot fuel your body, if you cannot <laughs> intake sustenance without weed, that's when it yeah, you got a problem. a problem. You yeah. got a problem there. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that, I, I that's think, what I was saying to close out that, so you can go on whatever the hell you want. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I think most people who smoke are just, like, and this is the reason that 420 is, like, such a symbolic number. Like, what, what it really means at the core is because it's right after you get home from work. Like, that's the idea. You get home at 4 o'clock, you roll up a joint for the next 20 minutes, and then you smoke at 420. It's a way that normal people who live without much to do like to entertain themselves like especially poor people like is the you know the, the most people who smoke weed because you can just relax and you know just sit around and do whatever and watch the regular ass tv or whatever the fuck you do um same reason other people do this with a six pack you know guys who come home buy a six pack of beer and they drink a six pack every single fucking night because they just work at the shipyard and they I, come uh, home and watch TV all night, you know, and then they get that's fine. fat and have kids and they I have a suggestion for these people they though. They should, instead of doing that and spending all that money on, on weed and whatnot, they should come home, like have an internet subscription, just like do play some relaxing music, whatever you want to do and take that money that you would have spent on weed and Put it in the bank. Put in a 401k. Save that shit for retirement, my dude. You'll feel I mean, so much these better. People just might not have got it. Wait, some, this is a kind of a big people. ask to have a reliable internet connection. To have a like, bank account? Is that really much wait, of an having ask? An internet no, the connection internet is connection not... was the part I was talking about. Well, I mean, uh, okay, we're talking whatever, about put in the radio. in first world countries here. I think yeah. that's yeah, not... Yeah, we are. I think that's... I mean, we're talking about... I feel like available. a lot of people would, when they retire, would just want to sit around smoking weed anyway. I, I, it's just this all this this I, I can't go into this conversation without just bringing in my baggage of how much happier I think everyone is when they're using their time as productively as possible. I just think that makes people happier. Um, I mean, I don't I don't begrudge people having something to wind down I, after a long of course day not, of work. Of course not. I just I do don't too. think that. Uh, but it's the monetary I don't think most expense. people have the capacity to do what you're suggesting, Nate. Like, I don't think a lot of people to save literally money. I, I think that most well, people do not have – well, yeah, definitely not to save money. Most people well, do not have the cognitive capacity to save money nor to have a second life outside of work. Like most people come home and they're just fucking mm -hmm. exhausted and done and they just want to kick up and not think about anything because they do not have those kinds of complicated That's thoughts that so, lead people down other paths. So boring. You know? So boring. It's, it's, it's yeah. unfortunate, but like these people, these are the people who need this shit the most because all we need them for is so. to be the worker ants <laughs> running our colony of the fucking world. <laughs> like all these. I mean, okay, like, the worth of normies in society is that mm. someone's got to run all this shit. We don't. Us intellectuals who just want to go to a Walmart <laughs> there it is. and like fucking. <laughs> if 
you if you of Yo, of, uh, catch me an intellectual look, at Walmart, yeah, my if niggas, you that's where have I'm at. the IQ that you can watch Rick and Morty, <laughs> and you just want to like hop down to the Walmart and grab a fucking you know a quick a case of whatever real soda quick. Yeah, fucking yeah. caffeinated <laughs> thing you need to get through your day. Someone has to be there to sell that shit to you, and um, that okay, person right. like needs to be there every single day doing this demeaning job that has to exist, but like. So, you know, these people, we need these people and we got to keep them satiated. We got to make sure that they're not fucking pissed because if they're pissed, they rise up. Well, you know, Digi, you you know, Digi, smoking, that's 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 all the reason to fulfill your life. It's not the only way to get dopamine. It's not the only way to do that. Yeah, but it's a good way. It's a cheap way. The most important thing is that we need to get post-scarcity so so that people, (laughs) even these people can, can choose to not waste their lives in shitty jobs like this. They can live their dreams. I figured out how to like replace weed as like a way to give people the dopamine rush that they need. Okay. Uh, fucking make play places for adults. Finally, please. <laughs> I just want to like go in one parks. of those. I, I want to be like you. You are uh, uh, old enough to be in here. You, can, you In fact, you're <laughs> too old, and that's why you're allowed in here. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, yes. Incidentally, last, so, I can play something, in a thing. Uh, something that I want everyone to understand, and this is part of why I started smoking so much weed, is mm-hmm. that when I went to Portland and I saw what it was like there, I realized that when weed is legal everywhere fucking everyone will be high most of the time because it's super cheap and it just puts Mm. you in a better mood and it gets you through the day and there's no reason people won't do it because you can like if you have a especially in a city like that where there's good public transit you don't have to drive anywhere so like there's no reason you wouldn't just go around high all the time so that's what it's gonna be Mm. like and the reason is that like the amount that like I smoke in a day and I smoke a hell of a lot of weed, but I smoke an amount that's equivalent to like buying a big Mac once a day, you know, like it's Mm, not mm -hmm. that, but only if you're somewhere where it's legal, that's not true where (laughs) I live. You know, um, I pay way the fuck more for that, for weed because it's not, it's not fully, you know, it's not sold in dispensaries here, but like in places where it's legal, it's so cheap that like everyone's going to be doing it all the time. And when I realized that like, that's where the tide's turning, like, that's going to be – that already is normal in some places and will be normal everywhere in America soon. There's no reason to well, even think of it as like, you know, like differently than that. Gigi, why are hmm. you concerned with being normal? Why are you concerned with being well, on the Well, I'm anyway? concerned with it because of the fact that I am terrified of doing anything illegal and I have never been someone who like does illegal – illicit activities like except well, for in the most well, I, safe I conditions imaginable. I, I, I think you're being really selfish here like think of all those hard-working cartel members in mexico right now and we're gonna put them out of a fucking job if we yeah. legalize weed we can't exactly. we can't do that how can fuck we do em. that to them <laughs> fuck them fuck them we'll replace them with, with robot cartels but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got yeah because we have to keep like the we cartels. keep the cartel we just we, <laughs> robot, we, we automate their job yeah yeah and then they do. we just tell them yeah robots aren't allowed to kill replace people. The, it's the poor first with law. poor That's robots true. um uh, to, what's that to, to the people who come home tired after work i mm. i don't like like i sympathize it. i sympathize yes yeah, I, I, I sympathize with them i understand why but, they would want to but what i but, but i would suggest mm. is that you should go outside or get a hobby because yeah. i know well, yeah, what yeah. if you yeah. live like somewhere where be... you go outside and you get shot you should I the mean, internet man look, the internet may, then. maybe it's leave. idealistic should... and maybe it's maybe it's i don't know what? maybe i'm maybe i'm coming from a place of pre- i hate the procrastinators podcast i fucking hate it i can't get through a single point without literally every single host constantly cutting me off for no reason i'll be in the middle of a fucking sentence and everyone like vultures try and jump on me and cannibalize my point the point where it's unrecognizable i don't get a single word in edgewise the point that i'm trying to make is why i don't i don't i won't be able to go outside because i know what it's like to be inside all the time i know what it's Mm -hmm. like to be inside and be just Kinda twiddling sucks. your clit and not do anything. I know that's what it feels like. And for myself, I think that's what's best is to go outside and get a hobby and do what you love and do art or something. Mm-hmm. I know it's a blanket statement to say that's what should be done for everyone. Sure, there are outliers, but I shouldn't need to say that. I shouldn't need to start up my movie review with this is just my opinion, guys. Everyone's t- top ten list will be the same. That's a given <laughs> in this society. That's a given in this but climate. Munchie, this, in this is a climate, conversation that's about weed. We're talking, we're having a conversation about what we're trying to find these lines. This is literally the purpose of this conversation is where is the line when is it okay what is the parameters of like how people should use it 
the reason I'm bringing up these talking points is that I'm literally just talking about shit that literally every rapper raps about. Like, the reason weed is talked about so much in rap music is it's almost always presented as, like, this is the way that, like, our people get through life. Is that fucking we, mm, we have mm. nothing and this is what is... Like, what can make us yeah, happy? Yeah, you know? you, 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 they probably have a little bit more if they say a bit of all that money that they spend buying weed to, you know, a, a, a advance their careers or, you know, try and move out of their terrible neighborhood or, you know, in, invest it or whatever. That's what Jay-Z says. How much says. money do That's you think Jay-Z they're, they're going to save by putting away a little bit of weed? Jay-Z Every encourages smoking helps. weed, but he does encourage not buying dumb bullshit like, you know, expensive yeah, cars yeah. and, like, frivolous well, spending. All right, here, here's the thought. What's an interesting what is the point? difference between, mm-hmm. like, getting some weed and then getting some, like, nice soda that you like? It, there's no difference. It's the same, like, that's why I compared I... it to a Big Mac. It's like, people buy mm. these things because it's a step up from, like, gruel. It's a step up from, I have to eat Pop-Tarts <laughs> and ramen, like, but it's, it's, you know, like, when I, for me, growing up, like, getting to eat fast food was, like, something special, right? Like, we wanted that was better than at home dinner, at least in my household. Like my parents can't cook for shit, so like, and and, <laughs> uh, and we were we were poor for a lot of time, so we just ate like you know crackers, nothing. So like, damn. So going to like a and and we were a bunch of skinny picky kids, so like even if we had options, we wouldn't have eaten any of it. But like mm. we would just go to McDonald's and be like, wow, this is like a step up. This is like a real meal that I'm enjoying. And now as an adult, I see that as like disgusting filth that I wouldn't touch because. I know a how to cook and b I can go to a better restaurant. But like you know, when you're in a situation God, where so you hungry. don't, you know, <laughs> I'm getting I'm actually making myself really hungry too. I, I lost my point in train of thought. Well, you know, that was a I, very interesting don't... point there. You, you, you the uh, yeah, difference between weed and soda is that you don't get high from soda, and 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 that that's... you don't get like like a dopamine well, rush mm. in your mind from soda. That's Munchy, not, Munchy. Well, that's rewarding. actually not. I mean, I feel that way when I haven't had soda for like a month and then I drink my first one that's how I feel when I drink a soda like you, when you're you not desensitized high, you, you get you get fucking high from drinking a Dr. Pepper when, when I'm the, really like desensitized I, I'm I'm somebody who like reacts really strongly to any of kind of stimulus like I drink a sip of an energy drink and I feel like my whole vision changes you know like that's the level because I don't dude, drink I it ain't... that much you know but when you, when you get yourself desensitized to something it's it loses that effect like when I drink it like there's been times where I'm drinking Mountain Dew every single day and I like need it just to get through the day. And when I stop having it, I feel miserable. And then I fucking scrounge together whatever money I could find. This is something I actually did when my parents cut me off from Mountain Dew one time. Like mm. I was just like, like fucking scrounging together dollars Jones. to like ride my bike to 7 <laughs> yeah, Eleven to secretly yeah. covertly buy it because I was so addicted to it. But when I stopped drinking it, like the next time I had it, like over a year later, it was like, oh my god! Like the amount of sugar in this is so overwhelming. You gotta that it was drink like, that yeah. diet do, dude. It's dude, all about I, the diet I, do. I am fucking I never priest drink. of the diet. I will proselytize. Fair the enough, diet soda is the greatest. Yeah. It's a fucking miracle. And I just went through this myself. I I never drink soda. I barely eat sugary stuff. But just fucking, I I bought a highball organic grapefruit juice energy drink, and I drank. Oh, it's got forty the, grams the, of the, sugar in it. The forty decadence. fucking grams. It was utterly decadent. I'm drink- well for for me like a dessert a glass of orange juice is so rich it's so mm-hmm. rich it is my it is my cake mm-hmm. uh, fucking or- a glass of orange juice I, and this highball energy I, I, drink I think, is the same I think the thing Munchie was getting at though is like weed gets you high in like a very sp- <laughs> like a specific way that like you can be like completely incapacitated if you're the t- s- sort of person who like reacts that way to it. Ben, what are you laughing about? So I just I just envisioned a world where like Nate's eating his beans, right? <laughs> But yeah. he's but he but but it's like his day of the month that he's gonna treat himself. So he sneak so he Cheat sneaks day. a jelly bean in there among the regular <laughs> beans. <laughs> and, oh no! And then you know he's <laughs> but he doesn't know where it is, and, it, and it, it, it comes as a surprise. And when he hits that secret jelly bean, it's the ultimate coom. Dude, that 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 it, it's like it's like when you finally bite into that cyanide capsule you've hidden in your teeth, and I just die. Yeah. That's oh. what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest he just got a I've bunch. He just got a bunch heard. of frijoles negros, and he just throws yeah, one, yeah. one sweet, delicious licorice <laughs> jelly bean in there. Oh, <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> favorite. Uh, Yo, oh, okay, but here's the real hey, question. Was Hippo saying something? Well, I, feel like he was I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, I, the thing I was saying is that, that I mm-hmm. feel like 
if weed became like this, like one of the many things you could just go into the the convenience store and buy, mm-hmm. like you get a chocolate a chocolate bar, a chocolate candy bar, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, something, a, a thing, a, a soda, and a weed. Like, that, you know, it's all there. That's um, like literally I, what it's like in the places where it's legal. Yeah, like the dispensaries, like, yeah, yeah. you I, walk in, and it's like a bunch of cheery eyed people come up, and like everything's presented very point. nicely. It's like an middle apple yeah. point. <laughs> huh? Go on. That was the middle was of your middle point. Of point. But that's oh, how it goes. Uh, baby. I was gonna well, let yeah, him. Give, I, was, I, was I was just, you know, telling him about dispensaries. <laughs> it's, it's the good. point was that I think um, it can. I think I feel like as long as people like, I don't know actually whether weed is addictive like cigarettes are. Mm-hmm. I assume it isn't. But um, I mean, I feel say. like it, it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal if that just became a normal thing because uh, you know you mm. just need to An- anything to, to anything realize can be that addictive. Anything can be, like, yeah, self-destructive and, like, can ruin your life and make you retarded if you have too much of it. And I guess it's just, like, a, a, mm. a thing. You've got to make sure that people, in general, learn not to do big weed all the time, all day. Otherwise, they won't be able to get anything done. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you? I'm happy that you compared it to fast food because that's actually one of my points here. Fast food is great every once in a while. You can walk into Chipotle, and Chipotle is, like, one of the best meals that I have, like, every single time. It's great. I love Chipotle. Yeah. But if you eat too much of it, you're going to get fucking fat. It's going to affect your overall health and your, like, well-being. Like, socially, people are going to make fun of you because you're yeah. fat, or rightfully so. It's going to affect you economically because you can't spend sure. $10 a day on fucking Chipotle. You can't do I, that. I, you know, yeah, you can. I, I mean, that's true. Well, I'm I'm saying you probably well, it's, 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 it's you could you you could make an good. argument a sound argument that's a bad investment and like a, like yeah. the the perfect thing I'm to saying. do if you wanted to even if you want a delicious chipotle burrito if you went to the grocery store bought all the ingredients and cooked it yourself it'll cost you more time for sure but you'll definitely save money by okay, buying things on, in bulk on, and like on. doing it that We're way. We're entering yeah. a weird realm here because okay. I don't think there's anybody who is so broke that they can't afford to eat chipotle every day but has enough money to smoke weed every day like hmm. i don't think I'm, this person not, exists did you i'm not saying that they are literally incapable of, of of getting chipotle every day i don't think they they literally do not have the funds to do so i'm saying it's a well, smart thing to do and, and I, that you i'm just saying i'm just saying like it. okay in my case for instance i could mm-hmm. buy chipotle every day and it would do nothing to my bottom line like it it is inconsequential sure, sure. for me to spend that money because i make way more money than i can spend like i live such a small like small life that has n- nothing really behind it i have a huge savings um and you know every year a huge chunk of it gets taken out for taxes and then it gets replaced and so <laughs> so like for me, I could, yeah, I could literally smoke weed or eat Chipotle or do whatever the fuck I want every day because, like, uh, what is the reason not to do that? Well, you, you know, I, a lavish I, lifestyle that most people are not afforded. So I'm speaking to the general well, I mean, audience here. I think, I think what's going on here is that you guys are talking slightly about two different things, or at least your your, your emphasis is on two different aspects. And I think that's why. Well, I was just a trying to say that, like, here. I just feel yeah. like if you, I don't think there's anybody out there who like is smoking that amount of... Uh, like, nobody's smoking as much as I am if they can't afford it, is what I'm saying. Like, that, that, sure, that, That's not sure. true. I, I know multiple well, stoners that are constantly broke. Well, they're, then they're, they're fucking money. idiots. Uh, yeah, but see, that, that's, that's exactly it. That's and, exactly and it is it. not their biggest not problem. Decision it's, I would say that the weed is not their problem. It's the fact that they're fucking idiots that is their problem. I mean, like, they're you bad can make that money. point they're about... They're spending their money on weed. Yeah, because well, they're bad. I, I, with don't, money. I don't agree. I don't agree that they are also stupid. I, I, they are stupid. I'm no. saying that the weed is obviously not helping. No, I would it's say not helping, any, but look, they, li- if literally if, if they're everyone, buying it because they can't afford it. That's the problem. The, the, yeah, the, yeah. The thing yeah. is, like, there's people who do that. Um, my fucking uh, my fiance told me about someone she worked with who, mm-hmm. like, her boyfriend had spent all his money on Pokemon plushies. Like, he mm, would literally get a mm. paycheck and immediately drop it all on Pokemon plushies what, and be that, broke. Wasn't that, like, what your ex-girlfriend was like? I she was like that, too, that. yeah. She yeah. did the Dude, same fucking I, thing. That's why she that's, got uh, kicked out of the military. And fucking I love you, rest your ram. <laughs> if it was that guy. Well, it's gotta be yeah, that the, guy. People... People literally just are bad with money because they don't understand it because probably Mm. their parents are bad with money and just didn't teach them how to be good with it. Like, the only reason I know anything about money is that my dad, who was 
unbelievably bad with it and put himself in a massive amount of debt in his 30s and then spent his 40s working his way out of all the debt and like learning everything about money and finances and taxes. He read literally the entire tax code. So I really should just get him to do my taxes fucking for me. But well, um, so show restraint because show restraint. Exactly. I mean, show yeah, yeah. Restraint. It's yeah. like if you know how to spend show your money, show Ram. Show Ram. Where's Reshiram? <laughs> so overprotective of me, <laughs> Reshiram. <laughs> like, like basically, Sorry. if I if Sorry. I stopped, <laughs> like if let's say my Patreon took a dip to a point where I thought, oh shit, I need to be worried about money now. Weed's mm-hmm. the first thing that's got to go because it's what I spend the most frivolous money on. Like mm-hmm. I know that. It doesn't matter how much I smoke. I like I can smoke every fucking day, and then the second I can't afford it anymore, it's fucking gone. You know. I, well, th- I, I don't know if that's a proven fact that you could. Th- just, it's a like, very proven fact smoking. because I stopped drinking Mountain Dew. I stopped smoking cigarettes. I stopped doing all kinds of things that I was addicted to because well, I just thought that you, it was no longer appropriate. You cigarettes for like what, like four months? I haven't smoked. I again. haven't smoked again since forever ago i haven't smoked okay, in like you six guys, months there there is a difference here you guys are basically talking past each other because there's two different things going on here munchie is talking about definitely positive possible negative things that could come from like being obsessed with weed and like the fact that there's addictive personalities like weed is just like like gambling we shouldn't like outlaw gambling but gambling can have negative consequences oh, yeah. just by the nature of it existing but but digi here is focused on the positive that weed can do well, which no, i think we all no, agree exists i'm just saying that this yeah. this personality problem <laughs> is not a result yeah, of okay. any specific drug mm, people mm. will find a way to facilitate this personality problem It goes way beyond, like, people talk about, like, gambling and weed and all that stuff because it's obvious, but, like, literally, people will just blow their whole paychecks on fucking plushies. Like, people will just spend their money badly because they're trying to fill a hole in their lives that they don't understand how to fill, and they think this is the way to do it because they don't understand money. I I, no. I I completely agree. I don't disagree mm-hmm, at all. Mm-hmm. But la- like last episode in the first cast, we made fun of people for making for getting frivolous commissions for spending all the American commissions. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm doing yeah. right here, right now. I'm saying yeah. you should not do that's that, true. audience. That's not yes. A good do idea. not spend all your money on weed if you cannot afford weed. That's retarded. That my my main my main problem with the weed is 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 not the time or make a well, fucking budget. I guess it's you, the time. It's, it's not the yeah, money. Yeah, budget, budget, uh, man. Do we? Do, should I just get into my big point here? To, do it, to, man. To, Let's to do it. Out. I'm ready. All right. All right. When you can get high and feel good from just sitting on the couch, like, twiddling your clit, playing the newest, <laughs> hottest, like, God of War 2, if you can do that, releasing <laughs> dopamine for doing nothing, your incentive to do, like, actually accomplish things is diminished. And you're not going to want to put in the hard work and do things that, like, really matter to me, mm, the things that really mm. matter to me. You're going to neglect other aspects of your life that make you feel good, like social interaction, work, etc. You, mm-hmm. you will associate the dopamine rush that you get, like, from the high as rewards. You look at things that you've done or are doing currently and think think, wow, good job, like, I'm so funny, I'm so much funnier on weed, I'm so smart, I bet no one would have thought of that, wow, <laughs> when chances are it's either total bullshit and not good at all, or the more likely scenario is it is good, but you just would have thought about it while you were sober, and you're just more impressed with it than you otherwise would be. Hmm... Well, so basically you're making a case just like that that case kind of extends to just like something like video games as it, well. It, it, it's unearned indulgence. It's unearned Un- indulgence. And I don't I don't like the idea of pleasure for nothing. I mean, I I agree. But the question like the question I think ultimately does come down to basically what we've been saying about like you've got to manage that in your life cuz like weed's just out there and like weed or video games or, or any kind of drug or indulgence sex you, whatever you, you it is. You cannot tell me that drugs are not more potent and easily well, like like literally release dopamine in your brain in, 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 in the real world. N- in the real world. I don't know. You can you can get addicted to like anything that that takes over your life because you I become obsessed well, with you know, it. We, we don't even need to make yes. a comparison. We don't even need to bring in anything else like the fact is that like weed as an example it de- it alone does do this you know forget yes, everything else forget drugs it does do that and i can see why munchie would see something like that and the effect it has on the on the world at large and think to himself well this you know maybe there's some positives here but i also see a, a, like a whole boatload of negatives coming along with this i think that is I understandable think that, the uh-huh. The, the the idea that like you can take weed and then find like uh, the the mundane stuff that mm. you think to be like more impressive than it actually is uh to be like 
That is yeah, literally like a retarded right. stereotype, and no, no, it's no, not well, real. Well, okay, well, I've seen what, you do it. I've one time. When have you seen <laughs> me do that? Right now. You, 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 <laughs> right you, now. You, you, you constantly say that you're funnier on weed. When, when, when I, have when I, I... Wait, I, first of all, I don't well, even think I act... Constantly was an overstatement. I don't think I even act any different whether I'm high or not. I don't well, think most let, let people me, can tell. I don't think most people have any idea when it's the case. I mean, I've, I, I I've openly well, said that it's been the case every single day since the year started. So yeah, if you just yeah. think I've acted literally different in every interaction I've had with you since the beginning of the year, then fair enough. But, like, you know. Well, it, it could be an overall sort of tonal shift, yeah, you know, I, I, to I, some I, degree. I don't think that you're unrecognizable as DigiBro, but I definitely, I definitely, like, like, notice a difference in your personality in general overall. I mean, there is speed. a difference in my personality, but it has nothing to do with weed. It has, like... The, well, how would you know that, though? Uh, because there's literally every single aspect of my life and my entire mindset has changed in the last okay, about Okay, but that, that's, that's hardly so, a scientific experiment experiment though you know th th also you started doing weed every day so to say that, that it has start, had no yeah, impression I, I think that my personality that i think yeah. that the changes to my demeanor that have mm -hmm. been mm -hmm. now i don't know if this is what Munchies, i'm not trying to put you on trial by the way i'm just yeah, i'm just throwing the i, I just want to say there. and yeah, i don't yeah. i don't know if munchie's time frame would align with other people's if he feels mm -hmm. differently than than others who have expressed similar sentiments however before the time where i started smoking like literally every day for the first like four or five months I lived here, we would just smoke occasionally, like maybe twice a week. Mm -hmm. Maybe it got up to like three times a week by the end of the year, you know, because she was working a regular job. I was working, doing shit all the time. And I would talk about like weed in my videos and I would make jokes about it in certain ones. And in certain videos, I would say things like, hey, you know, this is a high idea. Like this is an idea. But right, I right. had not actually been high in like any videos in that entire period until like a, a patron exclusive like podcast released at the end of the year and people would say things like oh digi's so different when he's high and i'm like but i'm not high in any of the videos i'm telling you about the experiences i had while i was high however my personality is also different because i'm living a totally different lifestyle like i'm not a lonely weirdo in his room who feels bad all the time. I'm like, how do we get back to that? How do we get back to that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a guy who's going to go back to your roots, you know, who's like having fun all the time and living well. And, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. like, just, uh, I just feel very different, you know, from the way I did a year ago. And I think that what people don't understand. And also the way I feel about weed is completely changed from that point because back then, because we weren't smoking all the time, we did always get real high and we were like goofy and giggly and we'd watch a fucking Miyazaki movie and be like this is the greatest movie of all time and then I'd watch a TV anime and be like all TV anime is garbage I can't watch any of it like that's what it was like at the time but I've completely desensitized myself to weed now like I'm high so often that it doesn't really have that much of an effect it's more just like something that's fun to do and kind of lets me think a little faster and perceive things better. Like, I've gotten better at following the plot of anime. I understood Ava <laughs> way better when I watched it high, let me tell you that. Um, oh, like, boy. <laughs> it's just a lot easier for me to parse information because I've historically been terrible at following stories and shows. Like, if you watch my critique, you'll, you'll find that I rarely talk about, like, specific story elements because I literally don't remember. A lot of the times I can't even remember the main character's name. I just call him, like, the protagonist, you know? Yeah, I've yeah. gotten so much better at that just because I can slow down and like really take it all in. So I prefer to watch anime high because I literally think I get it more. And like I can also see things like I can tell the difference between the foreground and background better and I can judge them on different <laughs> levels and things like that. You know, it's easier to identify each individual I, element of the production and things th like that. That's an inarguable point. Like, how, how could I say, like, no, you don't experience this better. That, that's completely fine and valid way of thinking. You like how you are better well high. But I'm saying for the general people, uh, I don't, like, 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 I don't want to condone or approve of that type of behavior. Because while you might feel the same way that Digi does, there are also the many uh, other various different uh, uh, things that I've said yeah. that I think are negatives about weed. And also, I can have my also own inarguable point that I just don't mm. like people who are on weed. You can't yeah. say, "Well, no, you just do pe like people on weed." I just, I just <laughs> no, no, no. As I, a general, I, thing, I am I by just, no sure. means trying to like uh, quell your argument that you don't like people on weed. That's completely fine. The only reason I'm arguing so st strongly is that 
I want to encourage people to smoke weed because <laughs> I see I, I think smoking right, weed will right. can make your life better if you are smart about it and you have someone guiding I, you and teaching you like how to do it well and to not people, waste any I, 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 Digi, I don't even really disagree. It yeah. can make your life better if you use it in casual intervals. If you use it, it not every day. If you didn't use it not regularly. If you just use it as, you know what, work was really hard today. I haven't smoked in like, you know, a mm-hmm, little while. Mm-hmm. I'll just kick back tonight. You know, tonight's so I just want to relax. I can't argue against that. I wouldn't want to argue against that. That's earned. You know, you've put it to work. You come home, uh, you know, you've come home after work. I understand. I get it. It's a casual flip. But what it's if a casual I, I'm saying that like, yeah, that's OK. If you're someone who's in a life situation where that is best. Yes, that I agree. If you're someone who's in a life situation, however, like mine, where getting high all the time will help you do it all the time and like, you know, use it in the way that's appropriate, just like you would any other tool. That's what they're there for, you know? I mean, yeah, I totally agree that like all the, there's there's no case that it should like be illegal or I anything just, of that. Sure. I just don't get it. I just I just don't get what it brings. It's never it's never like drugs or alcohol have never like improved. I've never felt good that I did them afterwards. It, oh, well, but it's did you neutral oh, as best. Did you hear oh. making his case? You know, that's yeah. Oh, I know. Ben, I would just, you consider your regular? Experience. Would you consider your mm. regular waking existence to be an utter nightmare? Yes. <laughs> Do you think that it improves at all from doing either of those substances? Temporarily. But I'm well, saying see, that afterwards, like, if, like, I can temporarily forget about well, the hang nightmare on, hang on, that hang is on. my that, existence. That, that but then is actually after, brilliant. After, Digi, do you... Ag- I'm sorry, Ben. Sorry. I, I was I just saying, but, but, but afterwards, yeah. looking back, it's not better. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay, I, I great, don't feel great. better because I did it. Digi, do you agree with him, what Ben just said? Do you share that sentiment that your existence is a waking nightmare, et cetera, et cetera? I would say... I would not say that. However, okay. um, how would I put this? <laughs> I I think that I have a tendency to get lost in thought, you know, mm. like, and mm. if I don't have anything to sort of guide me and focus me, then I'm not going to go into a good place, you know, and okay. there's, there's okay. multiple ways to go about making sure that doesn't happen. Interact with somebody. That will protect you from thinking, you know, uh, watch something, consume something, analyze something, create something, you know, get absorbed in your creation. Um, do something, basically, is what I'm saying. If you're not doing anything, mm-hmm. then life is misery. However, yeah, if you are in a situation like the one that I was in, like, this is more about uh, drinking, really, for me than, than weed, because I handled them kind of differently. But mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. I was... Uh, before before moving out and all, I was drinking all the fucking time. You guys remember. I've had, yep, a, historically, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. people used to constantly intervention me about how they thought I was drinking too much. And I would go, no, it's not like that. Because if you look up what actual alcoholism is, it's fucking terrifying. And it's nothing like what I do. But, yeah. but I did drink a fair amount. And the reason is that sometimes I would be in a position where there was just nothing I could do. Like, no one was around for me to hang out with. There was nowhere to go because it's too late at night and my sleep schedule's fucked up. I, like, either don't have a project or I'm stuck on the project. And I just was like, well, nothing's happening. I feel like shit. I don't know how to continue the rest of the night. Like, I don't know what I can change other than I can make my mind feel different by consuming this beverage that changes the way my mind feels. And I can't predict what's going to come out of that. Maybe it's going to make me feel even worse. Maybe it's going to make me feel better. Maybe I'll feel productive. Maybe I'll put on the dick show and have three beers. It'll be a great night. You know, I'll rewatch something I love and just imbibe and, and, and Mm -hmm. take a step back. And that's why I drank so much at the time. The reason I smoke so much now is more that I'm living a, an intense existence. I am doing everything all the time. I've got thousands of people who are talking to me all the time. And I decided like at the end of last year, I had briefly decided to hole up and just be like, no, I'm, I'm abandoning discord. I'm abandoning Twitter. Mm. I'm closing my comments. And then I decided, fuck it. I'm going to go back into battle. And so I opened it all back up and now I'm constantly talking to people. I'm collabing with everybody. I'm paying everyone to do stuff for me. I've got a million things going on. I've got a thousand anime to watch. I'm, you know, with somebody all the time, um, you know, much more physically active than before as a result. So 
Yeah, I'm wearing myself out is basically what I'm saying. And to keep all that together, to hold it all together, requires a just constant stream of, like, mind-altering substances that will change the way I feel in a subtle way throughout the course of the day that makes it feel like I, I reset again. I've got energy again. You know, it's like, oh, I took... I got high again, now I can edit the rest of this video. Oh, I drank another beer, now I can do this. And, like, because getting high is, like, a just way more potent effect than drinking is. Like, you can get way higher way faster than you can get drunk. So it's just a really effective way to constantly shake things up and reset your sort of mental clock. And, you know, that's why I smoke all the time. I don't well, really think it changes the actual products that I create that much mm, because mm. the reason that the stuff I make has changed so much has nothing to do with the weed. It has to do with just that I started watching lots of really good stuff while I was smoking weed and I took a lot away mm -hmm. from it, you know, and decided that I thought my content was just shit. Like, my content was something I couldn't watch high because it's boring. So, like, let's make it interesting, you know? Well, uh, that right there, you're showing that weed has affected what you, like, how you perceive things. It's you affected, watch your it affected well. how I perceived so. things and that it made me a elitist who did not want to watch anything bad. Like, all I watched, when we started smoking change, weed, like, all it? I yeah. could watch was Hayao Miyazaki and, like, Jesse's videos, and I got, I got, I had a total ego death watching demos, like, last three videos that he made that mm, were, like, mm. astonishingly good, and I couldn't believe I'd ever said I was better than him, you know, like, but then I watched <laughs> the rest of his videos, and I decided I was better than him, but, like, you know, those three okay, videos sure. are godly, and, uh... Well, okay, okay, yeah. that, that was an interesting, an interesting thing, but here comes neurotypical Nate. To yeah. neurotypical splain <laughs> all your bullshit away. So that, that was very interesting. <laughs> My, Michelle calls me neurotypical dates uh, very uh, 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 That's So. Hilarious. It's it's pretty good. <laughs> She's literally shaming my normal brain. But the, but see that's that's what's interesting about this because the way that you're approaching it is is that's is how very I know challenging. she's a PCP fan because like the idea of like calling people nearly atypical <laughs> is like a meme that I do and like oh, yeah. nobody's yeah. caught on except I guess her now. Yeah, she, she's figuring this shit out. So. Like we start, I started by asking, and Ben described it: the existence is a nightmare. I mean, you didn't quite agree with that, but basically, you said that you use. You know, drugs. You used to use alcohol. You use, uh, uh, you know, weed now to like modify your existence, which is exactly what drug is for, so that you can like achieve the things you want to achieve. Now, that I would never tell anybody they can't do that, and that's all fine. But I would say that personally, like the hardware and software that I'm running in my body makes me say definitively, existence is is far from a nightmare. I I am at my most happy. When I am sober and working on stuff, you know, because Nate, I don't I, feel. I yeah, agree. Yeah. I would say that the drug mm -hmm. life is the wrong life, and this is not how I want to raise my kids. I like, think that's well, my then point. Why are you yeah. encouraging people? But to be, because, because he's not you, raising kids right now. Exactly. You know, well, he's free. Not, he's not free. only am I not raising kids, but like our audience are adults now, and they're already fucked. Yeah. Like their parents already <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> like on. if well, you're listening yeah, to the on. PCP, <laughs> your parents <laughs> fucked up bad. Like ah, uh, normie life is over. First of all. First of all, your life I, is definitely I, hard because you're trans and everything's, <laughs> everything's <laughs> and, a gay, and a gay male. You're trans gay yeah, male. You are 100% gay audience. male. You kind of yeah. need this stuff yeah. to make it through the day. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> did, did you, I actually 100% agree. I agree. <laughs> donate, to our <laughs> donate to our Patreon if you're neurotypical. <laughs> donate to our Patreon if your dad failed you. Donate to our Patreon if your dad yeah. ran away from home. Donate, donate to our Patreon if you didn't grow up with a father figure. Well, okay, so, so, th th no, this is cool. Like, what it comes down to is, like, if you need, okay, like, this, this would be my ideal scenario. I don't know if this is realistic. I don't know if this is even possible. But, like, I was a broken, terrible human being when I was young. And somewhere along the line, I developed the capacity to work really hard and put in a lot of hours to do things I want. I don't know exactly when that came, where that came from. Uh, it started sometime after I, started doing like tbap stuff and, and and was able to talk to women okay at some point something changed in me and what i personally would ideally want definitely not realistic but i would prefer if people could somehow make this change in themselves that simply doesn't rely on a substance to be that way and so that they're they're happy all the time and and i i know that like i take caffeine so it's it's kind of hypocritical to say that because i do consume caffeine it is a drug it you know makes me more energetic sometimes when it and it's helpful so even i am not like the perfect ideal but like that that's like my my uh pl platonic 
uh, form. Like, there's a human being who just goes through his life, and he doesn't need any substances outside of what he wakes up in the morning with. He, yeah. he eats right, he exercises, that's he, why, he gets that's lots why of work I wish, done. That's why I wish that I could say I was straight edge. I wish yeah. that I was, yeah. you know, yeah. if I, like, I think Same. if I was a, I think if I was a better person, I wouldn't indulge Nate, in Nate, things. Nate, Nate, if Jesse it, were it, here, he'd be going hard on the loving the straight edge, uh, yeah. the yeah. lifestyle, the normal life. Nate, Nate, if Jesse it, were still with us today, God <laughs> yeah, rest yeah. his soul. Nate, 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 Nate it, it's yeah. different of like coping with a problem as opposed to solving the problem. I mean, c- coping sounds judgmental, and I'm not. I don't. I, I, wanna, I, I, okay, mean hold on. I, I don't mean it like. I don't know if you can necessarily okay, okay. solve the problem because, like, doing what Nate does requires yeah. constant maintenance. You just have to learn to yeah. love that. Well, like, you have to like. You have to feel that your body is like. It's worth mm-hmm. it. It's worth the upkeep because it, you know, makes you feel yeah. so good. And, and by, by the way, like, the thing I love doing of, like, coming home and making videos that I devote all my time to, like, even I didn't, like, work hard to discover that. I just, I committed to doing some videos with Ben, and somewhere along the way, my body just awoke to the fact that it simply enjoyed doing this. Like, I didn't like achieve anything i just uh, like my body just enjoys doing this kind of online work so i don't even really give myself credit for that it's just Mm -hmm. i feel like this is a really i'm just so happy about life and everything feels great i just want everybody to to have that i think a big part of why like not more people go down this route that you're that you've gone down is that Mm -hmm. for people who've never really been healthy it's difficult to relate to that sentiment of like the Mm. idea that you just feel better because like again i grew up on like shit food my whole life and yeah, when i yeah. like discovered what healthy food was and like that feeling of like because i've tried to do the health kick thing for a while and like yeah it makes yeah, you feel yeah. fucking like weirdly amazing like you get yeah. a lot of energy that's, that's and what, what humans like, are supposed to feel like yeah and you you're like what back, the fuck guys. is this like how is like i didn't know <laughs> like it's just you don't really understand what food is supposed to be because you've never been fed it before is like how it yeah, feels yeah but guys I, you know, I, I, I for, literally for don't there. eat sugar. Everyone, I'm going off sugar. For, I'm throwing it in the trash. No sugar for a fucking week till the next PCP. I'm making a commitment right now. I'm not doing it. Hell everyone, yeah. let's be healthy. Let's Hoorah! live. Let's truly live, I, everyone. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there's a while there. I've sadly fallen off the wagon, and it's really disappointing. And, and, you know what, Nate? I, I'm, I'm going to join you. I'm not going to drink any soda or energy drinks or yes, anything like that. Yes, that's what I'm because talking for, about. For that's a while. It. For a while there, I wasn't drinking any soda for, for like 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 from like august up until like like december or something or, or, or like around there but i remember there was one moment there was one fucking moment where mm-hmm. i was at it been it was at it was at your house and i, and I oh. think you, oh. you, you saw saw this happen where, where we were leaving wingstop and like there's just some sort of like impulse in my mind there was some sort of like weird like like phantom of soda's past and yeah. like I, I, yeah. I was pouring out my drink and then like i didn't like it was so fast like, like my body acted I don't. Know, I didn't even cognitively think about it. I just like got a little, like like a tiny sip of uh, of orange of orange juice, like like no. orange uh, soda no. into my cup, yeah. and I chugged it as fast as I could. Yeah. And then I, I I was like, what did I just do? What 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 just happened? How <laughs> I did do, I do I that? I do remember that. Yeah. 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 Um. It was you know it was sad. It was, it was like painful. it was like that episode of The Simpsons where um. Where Homer and Barney get picked for the space program, and Barney mm-hmm. excels. He gives up alcohol, and he gets really healthy. Um, and then, like he 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 makes it to the end of the program, and he's going into space. And then they celebrate with a beer. And one sip yeah. of beer, his eyes go all crazy, and he says, "Oh God, it starts!" And he goes nuts, <laughs> and he and he runs away, and he runs out, jumps out the window. And then the scientist says, I don't understand it. That was non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just the idea. There was a seed yeah. in his brain it's that, that was, was waiting. You know, like, it wasn't the beer itself, you know? Yeah. It was the the addiction or the dopamine or the, or the I don't know, the headspace that put him in or something. Yeah. So, so, we, so, so Nate, we gotta I, fight. We gotta fight our weak biology. Week. We have to break our body. Man is both the sculptor and the sculpture. Every change will 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 wreak agony upon your whole body. But that's how you make yourself into a better human being and a more perfect form. You have to carve One yourself, time. everybody. Well, did you come what up you with do? that? Wait, who, 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 no, 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 that, that's a well. That's a well known old adage. Yeah. There was a guy coming down the alleyway, and he was a skinhead yobo sort of lad. Mm. And he looked at me and he smirked, and he said. You want some weed? <laughs> and I looked down at my feet and I looked at him, I glanced in his eyes, I looked away and said, No, thank you. And then he scoffed and he walked away and I felt bad. I felt emasculated. <laughs> but, um, and that's, that's my oh, oh. weed story, everybody. Is that true? Yeah. 
Oh, cool. I was in an alleyway and a guy was going to offer me weed. And he was a young man. He looked like he was bigger than me and he was a fucking freak. And, and and I had my stupid hair and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know I don't if know I would trust this. No, thank alley you, weed, sir. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want my weed from I, an alley. Yeah. Yeah. I trust you Alley Oop. Alley Oop, though. Yeah! Oh, yes! 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 Oh, yes! Uh, G- Gib, Gib, what's Alley Oop's stance on the weed? Uh, she doesn't have a mouth, so it doesn't really mean <laughs> Okay, anything. all right. So she's injecting but, exclusively. Yeah, I was just about to say, so she injects hardcore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's it. <laughs> that's why she's white. Yeah. I mean, she's just bleached pale from all the bleach she's injected into her yeah, veins. That, you, you inject cocaine, right? The, uh, the dust? Y- yes. Um, okay, where are we going with this? Are we? I, uh, I, 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 wanna, I, I just want to. I want to give other. my. Yeah. I'll give my big my last thing. I want to say. Word. Because Nate, your your lifestyle. I'll, I'll do it afterwards. Your mm-hmm. lifestyle of healthiness, like I really look up to it, and I want to capture it. Like I want to be mm. that guy, not necessarily the beans shit, but like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Get that shit away from me. The thing is, my dad was somebody who in. When I was, like, a kid and he was in, like, his early 30s, he got Mm -hmm. real fat and, like, he was balding and he just kind of looked like shit for a little while. And he had been, like, a real handsome dude. Like, he – if you look at him, pictures of him, he was young. He was fucking beautiful. He looked like Tom Cruise. And, like, he he got fat and old, as you do. And then – he, like, fucking was like, this is bullshit. Like, I'm not going to be like this anymore. So, like, at age 35, he got, like, unbelievably shredded. Like, he looked amazing. He was, like, you know, fucking bench pressing over 300 pounds and shit at age 35, you know? And, like... I don't know what it is, but there's something about the, like, 30s to 40s range where guys just seem to develop the will. It's because like, it's your super fucking swole. body starts giving out. That's why. That's, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, you're right, I know you're it's right. coming... Because the reason my dad... Ever Every single time my dad's quit something, it's because he was told he had to. Like, he used to drink real bad, and as a result of drinking, he would smoke. And he literally developed an allergy to alcohol and couldn't drink anymore because it would give him, like, really bad anxiety attacks. So, like, but now that he quit, like, he's healthier than he was before. He quit smoking. Now he's a vegan. And it's like, you, you have time. You always have a chance Yep. You just, but yep. you, you got to know that you can do it. Cause if you let yourself get used to being like a fucking fat ass and you just never learn how to fucking be healthy, you're not going to be mm-hmm. able to suddenly save yourself at age 40. But like, you got to develop that discipline. The way I see it, my, my current plan is like to, we're, we're about to move to Boston. I'm going to spend the next three years, like slim. I'm going to lose like 30 pounds and just keep it off. I'm not going to stop doing any drugs or anything like that. Then I'm going to have okay. kids. Okay. Then I'm going to probably stop doing drugs, learn Japanese, uh, after we've established PCPHQ and it's like taken off, then I'm going to mm-hmm, go establish mm-hmm. the Japan branch of PCP- PCPHQ. Yeah, so yeah. I'll move to Japan and I'll leave Nate the Boston branch. <laughs> and get Japanese and I'll go to the Japanese branch. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah. And this is my 10 year plan. And once I'm in Japan, because of the fact that you don't like drive anywhere, you just run. I'll just yep, fucking yep. run everywhere. You and just get run. Super Everyone in Japan is sprinting <laughs> yeah, constantly. I oh, they're doing, the Naruto, run. They're doing the Naruto run everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, no! Now man they're man doing one. the Devil Man Dash. Yeah, give us yeah. right. We've evolved. <laughs> We've evolved. Every single oh, person. No. <laughs> <laughs> The the, 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 the the like bullet trains are actually on Flintstones technology, so you have to just have to like, yeah. like run with your yeah. feet like like there's, on the tracks really fast. Actually, <laughs> since 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 Devilman Crybaby came out, th- th- there's been a massive stratification in society between the Naruto runners and the Devilman dashers. <laughs> it's creating massive racial and social tension right now. Do you guys know about the Brazilian Naruto run? No. Okay. What's that? There's a national a event in Brazil where like forty thousand people fill the streets and Naruto run for like the miles. The fucking BRs. What the hell are they doing down there? It's real and there's YouTube videos of it. So show Incredible. notes. Incredible. Get that shit That's on. That's not even a good way to PCP run. HQ I'm, okay. Brazil. Uh, yes, come to Brazil, uh, everyone. Uh, uh, Let's I'll, Naruto I'll just run. say my my final thing here. Since oh, okay. did you, were you okay. did you finish your thing? No, yeah, I'm done. That's my mm. ten. Okay. Okay. Land. Uh, my, 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 uh, final word to the, 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 the will of the deceased is this, mm. <laughs> uh, there are other ways to feel good, there are other ways to have that dopamine rush, and I, because I'm me, value hard work, I value social connection, I value going outside, I value taking up a hobby, I value learning an instrument, I value things like that, as opposed to doing nothing and sitting on your ass, uh, smoking weed in your bedroom, and I value, and I mm-hmm. value productive productive, uh, you know, aspects of society, and that's the kind of people who I want to surround myself by, because that's what I respect, and that's what I admire. Mm 
Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I don't want to be your friend if you're a stoner who wastes all of your money on weed and then just sits on, uh, you know, his ass uh, w- watching, you know, anime or, you know, fucking playing video games, playing God of War. <laughs> I don't mm-hmm. care about that. I don't care mm-hmm. about any of that shit. I, w- I want to pe- be around people who I like. People who I like aren't stoners. Also, yep. this is, like, mm-hmm. completely sidestepping. Like, this is just, like, the, uh, the arguments that I can argue. I can't argue I just don't like being around stoners because I don't like the way they smell or, like, the stereotype of a stoner, <laughs> uh, which is real, and I've uh, countered them. I don't like and I think they're annoying. I can't really argue that. I can't argue dopamine rush, incentives, reward, whatever the fuck. I don't even sure. Buy. Yeah. Well, you, you can make your case for I whatever you like. I agree with that stance. I think you, you should definitely not uh, get shallow rewards. Chase the big I'd rewards. I'd say... Because they're more a, here's rewarding. A rule. It's like, anybody who likes Dark yeah. Souls, you already fucking know. You already know. Approach your life like Dark Souls. It'll be just as satisfying. I, 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 that's the best thing I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> here's here's my okay. I've got I've got a life rule to go by for this. So I of course I feel a lot of empathy for the guys that like Digi mentioned uh, about like like if you live in like a fucking ghetto, there's nothing going like you don't have you can't work on your entrepreneurial internet YouTube career or whatever. You've got nothing Is going that on. YouTube? Well, I, I, that's just an example. That's just an yeah. example. Uh, and it, like it, if you've got if you if your life is hell and weed is your one escape, then and if, it is. I, I get it. No I, matter what, is. no matter who uh, you th- are, then then I get. And then who the fuck am I to criticize how you do? But I would always say have a, have your goals in mind. You know, maybe your life is complete hell and there's no chance. Then I'm like, well, fair enough. Get high every single day. I mean, what do you gotta do? But I don't believe that's the case for almost everyone. So try to work on a plan to get yourself you know, where you most, wanna be. I think most people just don't have like any ambitions. They don't they have They need to be reminded they the, that they can achieve something with their life. Well, and that's yeah, what they, I'm yeah, here they, to do. Yeah, it's, a lot of people have don't have ambitions, but they should. That's yeah, what but, I look for in well, yeah, that's what I yeah. want to promote in well, society. Well, A, mm-hmm. A, a lot of people don't have ambitions, but they should. But B, a lot of people don't like understand that they can achieve things mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. like Here's, i didn't he, feel like i could achieve anything until maybe a couple years ago sure uh, and yeah, i'm sure yeah. like everyone is fu- like that's, that's the what only- it means to become an adult uh, yeah but my mind. I, uh, what are you gonna do like how do, for yourself, how do we well, fix it i don't know we'll, i don't know i will to- i will i will say that what i believe that stuff that's all i'll do that i, yeah. that I, I will give people a, a vision of a better future for themselves by not being just a stoner and nothing else i like you, i think you can, that's you sincere can fucking you can make something of yourself you can you can achieve you can achieve great things if you put your mind to it like anyone can yeah. I, I i believe and, it and if you use weed just to relax every once in a while and you're still a productive guy then what the fu- just do whatever the fuck you want man like who cares it's fine it's fine if you're sure. do- yeah I, yeah I, if you're making I, I, it work, really more power disagree. to you I, I just think that like like it, this is one of those things where it's like the action itself I don't like, but you could say, well, you know, it's not that bad. You know, you, you know, he's just he's just having fun on the couch. You know, whatever the hell. Mm-hmm. But I think this this happens a lot where doing an action is, like, indicative of the kind of person you are and your morals and beliefs. Mm, Where, like, I feel like you have to be a certain type of person to even want to become a stoner who does weed all the time and just sits on the couch. I think you... uh, That that says things about you. I do think that says things about you if that's the way that you use the drug. Like, if you are that type of stoner, then, yeah, you're a fucking... Like, you deserve the stereotype because, like, it is a bad thing to be. You know, is a guy you know, who's on uh, the just couch all the time. just to go way back a little bit, just Again, so this is an moderation, interesting story. W- it's when fine, I it's fine casually, the, the last time that I did weed, I was visiting friends in uh, around Seattle in, in Redmond, Washington, and um, Owned. like we we did weed. It was fine. Like there's a guy who's a big weed guy, and like. What what happened to me was that I just we were watching Tim and Eric and it was an episode I had seen many times and just this time I found it a thousand times funnier than I ever had before. And don't get me wrong, that was an enjoyable experience except I became very self-conscious about how it wasn't as funny to everyone else as it was to me. Yeah. And that to me was embarrassing because I have this I have this I thought about like I know that feel. Like you get yeah. embarrassed that you're enjoying yourself and you know that it's because of the weed and it's like, "Oh no, this is so uncomfortable. Like, I, I want to observe the world as closely to objectively as possible, because that's just, like, mm-hmm. the way you can make a change and, and sculpt the world you want. But you know what? That's just a fun story. That's fine. I, I It wasn't a crazy thing. It wasn't a big deal. But here, here's a life rule, everybody. 
this is my this is Nate's hot tip for drug use. Uh, never be the biggest stoner in your friend group. That's my life tip. <laughs> and if you follow that one simple rule, I think yeah, things will go just fine for you. I mean, that would just you. lead you to going into groups with bigger stoners. <laughs> oh, no, it's going to start an arms race. A big stoner in a small bitch. I like to think that it'll uh, it'll just make everybody move away. All right. <laughs> from st- I want to get us into uh, to the questions well, now. Let's do wait, it. Wait, wait. I it. haven't said my oh, oh, yeah, last thing. Okay. Get, shoot, shoot, right. shoot. I get more high Mm. from taking a chunky bite out of a soft white like spongy (laughs) crusty bread okay (laughs) than i do in any amount of alcohol or drug (laughs) use yeast for bread not beer that's my (laughs) motto (laughs) please hashtag save the yeast everybody okay Uh, question one is from mozilla fennekin zero who asks do you have to prepare yourself to record a script or a podcast in any way yeah dude i gotta smoke a huge bowl of weed oh there there he goes oh there there he goes oh Bubbly, 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 bong. Uh, I have to, I have to turn is. off my real self there it to is. do any podcast. <laughs> you have never seen me as my real self, I, un- unless we're in person. <laughs> Even I then. Don't, I don't generally, like, write scripts or take notes about s- things. But, like, the, I don't know if it counts as prep, but the times mm. that I've recorded, like, a rant, like a rant video or like a you know like a ramble video i will yeah. i don't like prep for it per, so, i mean or maybe a little bit but mostly i just i start recording and then i'll just stop i'll just redo it a bunch of times like until i'm happy sure um yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, Which is- in in the show notes you will find my my notes for this very podcast that you're listening to right now oh nice nice so check that out Google i doc. I used to prepare notes for the PCP, but I've just found that I'm just so good I don't need to. Uh, that's uh, that's my real thoughts on the matter. Though for like every other video, I, 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 I don't prepare think lots they, of notes. they meant like notes wise. Like it says, prepare yourself to record a script or podcast. Yeah, movie. more like oh. you know what do you have to do I, 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 I get in the mood. You know what I do? Yeah, this is a thing I always do. I never drink like milk or orange juice or anything like that before a podcast because it fucks up your throat. The, You've got to be able to the talk, The only right? good thing I drink water is tea. Or tea. Yeah, tea is good. W- water, good. water doesn't help me. Water makes me, like, f- for some reason doesn't work. Mm, tea okay. does, though. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's warm. The, but that helps Yeah, it helps. I, I've actually meditated on this a little bit because hmm. for a long time I, I, I was – Thank you, man. I was meditating on the issue. Why am I better on Armfuel than I am on the PCP? Why am I more likable on Armfuel than I am on the PCP? And on, and of the many reasons, I've come back with this as well. It's later in the day. It's like at night. We record like at night. And so I've had more time to like go throughout the day and, you know, get all my grogginess out and get all my drowsiness out. And I've been able to like, you know, uh, you know, uh, get a whole bunch of water in my body, get hydrated and shit. I've been able to, you know, get some energy and I've been able to expend that on the podcast as opposed to the PCP where I woke up uh, before, just like like an hour before the podcast, and I still feel like I want to die. It's interesting you say that because I think um, the opposite is true for me of the PCP. That part of why I'm able to have so you much. You weren't on arm retrieval. What? No, I'm just saying that. Like, <laughs> I just meant that. Like, the opposite is true for me in terms of what time of day is more convenient to record a podcast. Because, like, mm-hmm. if I record the PCP relatively early, it's like I haven't had the time to exhaust all my ideas yet today, so I'm, like, excited to talk, because that's what I like doing, is talking. Yeah. And by yeah. the end of the day, like, sometimes when I do the pub crawl, because it's at 11 p.m. on Mondays, and almost always, by that point on Monday, I've already made a bunch of shit and, like, talked about most of the things I had to say, or I have to do another, like, I'm about to do a Patreon podcast after it, or something like that, so I don't want to say mm-hmm. too much, because then I have to have more to say on that. It's just, like, As the day wears on, you know, each new podcast is going to be more exhausted (laughs) because I've already been talking all day. Because even if I don't record anything, I was definitely talking all day, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fair enough. Uh, I got got nothing else to say on that. Uh, Yo, let's check out... Yeah, if you got a question... Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna check right now. But but hold on, I, I'm checking the Patreon lounge right now. Just like just like the uh, at like like actual real Patreon lounge chat. And yeah. Look what I have found right here. Th- this is a this is a straw poll. This is a uh, uh, which member of the PCP do you look up to the most? I'm gonna check the results right now. 
Oh, shit. Oh, dude, me and you are tied, Nate. Me and you are tied. We are both tied with eight votes. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I like the, the best Nate ever. Munchie wears tiny who, bells. Who voted in this? Ben like, Saint. who was the audience of this? The patient This is j- just the bonus. <laughs> Wait, the bonus where is line. I want to see. I want to see. It, it's it's, it's linked oh, to oh, the I thing. See, I see. Okay. Uh, These um, are funny. This is cool. I'm going to vote. For me, well, all right, uh, this is fine. This is not up to good yourself? content. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna, put, I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna put this in the description, guys. Vote in this. Fucking well, sure. Poll. That, yeah, vote that's fine. This this, right it'll now. be. A, will it even still be votable in a week? I am. When it, I am dis. I'm, I, I'm disappointed in my performance. I hope so. All right. Uh, uh, hey, quick, quick, quick aside. Quick aside. Uh, did you? I don't know if you saw this, but I just saw that Demolition D retweeted uh, PA Works saying they're making a Shiro Bako movie. And Whoa. I see main character girl standing in the Gynax pose. What is this implying? Um, what does this mean? It, maybe th- maybe they'll b- fucking have a Gynax reference in there or something. I mean, Anno <laughs> was in the goddamn TV show, so... You know. uh, okay, sorry. I just saw that and it was weird. So, okay, moving on. I, moving on. I would like to see that is what I'm, is, is what I'm thinking I'll have about. to watch the show and then do that as well. I guess well. that has to be in the show notes now, so uh, well, everyone will have seen it. That's true. Uh, 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 question, Gib. I'm I mean, trying uh, to find something. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Oh, this. Okay. All right, well, here I'll go to the fucking uh, Twitter. Here we go. Here is oh. our pity question. Uh, what? Oh no, God, these are shit. These That's are all a terrible bad. questions. <laughs> these are okay. Uh, here we go. I, I, At Doombox Two on, asks, me. "Will Thoth be an official member?" Of yes, the PCP, he he's, a, he's, a, he's an honorary member for sure. He'll for he'll sure. be a guest. He'll be a frequent guest and friend of the show. Thoth. Yeah, I agree. That that's. I sounds... love Thoth. I love him. <laughs> he's I love our him boy. So much. All right, here's oh, okay. our boy. Here's, here's, a, here's a question. Okay. By Cappy from the Patron Lounge. Hmm. What is your favorite thing on the internet at this very moment? Like like like, what is a recent internet going on? I I, I believe they're saying. Ooh, like, what, what you uh, love? Like I what, love. What is really? There's a, Okay, yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Th- th- there is a podcast that came out by my hero and idol, Jan Renkowski, a.k.a. Uh, Harper yeah. 91. It's called Radio Pro Seconds on Wiz Dumb Gun. I'll, I'll link in the description, obviously. Mm-hmm. And it is an absolute experience. I've fallen in love with Jan all over again. His yeah. wit and humor and just on the fly, like, rants and promos that he cuts just, just on, like, like stoners and, like, jugglos and cyber vermin are just an utter fucking treat. And I'm so happy. I, I was really worried this was going to be, like, Hello, it's me, Jan Renkowski. I made a thing in the past, and now I'm a washed-up internet creator. This is my life, and I'm just going to sell it to you blandly, because I have a podcast show. That's what everyone does now, right? But no, Jan is not... He is ceaseless in his advancement in performance artistry. He has so many weird fucking unique <laughs> gimmicks. Like, in the first episode, he he has, like, he, he sets up an interview with a crisis actor who, who like, like was one of the people who acted on the set of the Syrian Civil War. And what? he interviews him about, about how the Syrian <laughs> War was staged and it Wait. wasn't real. <laughs> the whole thing? And it's fucking incredible. Yeah, yeah. It, God it, damn. Radio, Radio Prozac, absolutely incredible. Uh, I <laughs> love it dearly, and uh, it just reminds me how much better a comedy to be, and it really inspires me to be a better person. So, That's uh, fantastic. Also, what was the question that inspired that answer? Uh, it, it was, what is your favorite thing on the internet at this very moment? What's, uh, what's, okay, what's, what's okay. current stuff going on? That I have an answer. About? Yeah? Shoot. Um, it's the fucking, it's the fucking Rowdy cool. Fuckers Juvenile Detention yeah! Center. Woo! Uh, the Slime Economy should be coming online today oh or God. tomorrow. Yeah, the Slime Economy will be live. We have been workshopping it. We have been. I we I watched I watched the economy crash and burn. I watched slime credits <laughs> worth fall to zero uh, as people lost faith in their society. They had to be replaced with a new, with a new currency. But we are we are yes, it's it lives. The world lives, Munchie. Damn, way, ben, it's a living, breathing a whole, place. How how's it feel to be a whole? Four mega slimes behind me at this point. You what the hell is nave. going on? What it's happened to the cop killers? Nave. It's embarrassing. Yeah, They're the, pieces the, of shit. The cop killers were on top of their game, but then yeah. like the rowdies have just the rowdies have just have just embraced bots and just basically. Oh, well, those cowards! Yeah, yeah. Fuck them. Well, there's no oh, rules oh, in the slime oh, yeah, war. Oh cowardly! You can easily kill a bot. You could easily kill one, but the the the, uh, the the fucking killers were just so lazy and incompetent that they just couldn't foresee what the rowdies were doing. The cop killers, look, 
the cop killers don't employ cowardly Dude, tactics, but I tell you what they do employ: s s massive economic stratagems. And when the and, economy and, 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 comes they alive, do. they and do. Who, and who else what was was like the first real bot? Then B Dash Evan, the fucking notorious killer. So don't give me that shit, you fucking cuck. I'll kill you. I'll uh, kill you I'll in the ring. Right I'll kill you in the combat zone. I'll kill you in the combat zone. I'm off to the combat zone right now. First, I'm yeah, gonna right, first yeah, I'm gonna right kill you, and then I'm gonna sh I'm gonna suicide, and then I'm gonna go well, and kill the Lord of Ghosts just to make a point. <laughs> Uh, I killed him I, once and I can kill him again. I'll, t I'll tell you, I, this is a small thing. My favorite thing on the internet at this very moment, legitimately the first thing that comes to mind, is the Gaming Brits' new video on the new God of War. I liked it a lot. Way to go, Chaz. You're killing it. That's it. Well, That's my whole answer. That. It was good. Also, in case you're not aware, he like has a history. Like, action games are like his wheelhouse, and oh, he made yeah. a, a video he, that was real famous of the first, like yeah. the, the, the the trailer for this. He and, and this I both had famous videos about the trailer of God of War that That's that right. said almost the That's same right. thing, but his was like a proper video, and mine was me doing yeah. a Gilbert Gottfried yeah, I, impression for half an hour, and I'm drunk at six like, in the morning. The gaming Brit is making <laughs> me feel bad about like how good his content is, and I gotta, I gotta. Just, you're an inspiration. Just spoil me right away. Good. Does he That's like good. the game or not? Because I've been hearing no, it's it, actually uh, great. Is what uh, I've the, the, the summary. Uh, I'm spoiling your video, Chad. Sorry about that. But like, every uh, it's been a week by the time it's been out now. Um, uh, he just says that like he, everyone's like been telling him and commenting on his video. Like you were wrong. The the video is getting ten to tens across the board. Every journalist loves it. Meanwhile, his point was journalists will love this game excessively. Yeah. So of like he's just like yeah. Like ex of course it's getting ten out of tens from these journalists. But does he uh, like the game it, is exactly though? as not great as I as I feared okay. it would be, and it's boring and like yeah, it's not no. it's not it's not the DMC that he would wish you know it yeah. to be or whatever. So of course, yep, it's what it, it's basically what he predicted. You killed it, boy. You killed it. Well, um, I've, my favorite mm. thing to come out recently was fucking Mania Madness. From our good friend Endless Jess, who fucking covered oh, yeah. the newest WrestleMania. That was great. And it was like, it. he ended up turning it into, unintentionally, this like epic fucking weekend spanning event. Just yeah. like Mania itself, because I guess he recorded like a five hour podcast and released it in 30 minute chunks that he was releasing over the course of Dude, days. And I loved that. I loved it. It was I, so good, Jesse. I should check it out. It's, you should watch the whole thing start well. to finish. Like for I, sure. I'll tell you, because back in the day, Jesse had the Drowning and Kayfabe channel, and that's how I got in any interest in wrestling at all. Was I would listen yep. to these hours yep. long wrestling podcasts, and even though it was just like Jesse on a couch in front of a camera and like rambling, like you know, b like constantly undercutting himself and stopping to talk about how he has no idea what he's talking about and stuff like that, you know. That was, like, the first true rambling vlog I ever enjoyed where I was like, wow, mm -hmm. like, he's just such a good storyteller that I don't even care that this is just a guy sitting on a couch, like, rambling at me because this is fucking fascinating stuff and I want to hear about it. So now he's doing it again and... I haven't cared about wrestling in the last year and a half because he hasn't been able to fucking talk about it. Um, so I haven't heard anything about it. Learned all the news stories. It's like three hours of fucking... It yeah. feels like watching a TV show because it's 30-minute chunks. And, like, if you watch them over the course of days, it's like you're slowly marathoning through this epic series that has, like, this amazing climax to it and everything. All these <laughs> huge moments because it's, like, the most exciting WrestleMania of all time. And he cut out, like, it's highly edited. Instead of being... Being him in front of a camera, there's like, it's just like images on screen like, for like, like a the, long time. But like the audio is highly edited. I mean, to like be so, concise, it's, you know, it, it gives you exactly what you need. And like, yeah. in order to understand, if you had watched this WrestleMania, like you would need someone like Jesse there explaining everything yeah, happening to even and like understand why. It. Yeah. The first so so place. just having it presented this way for for guys like us, I think, is like the best way to do it. Oh yes, yeah. he literally I love just it. gives so you good. like literally watching he gives you this. Everything is you need just to know. watching the good part of wrestling exactly, and like all you gotta exactly. do is then just go watch a youtube video of the actual fight so you can see the moves and like i mean he puts half of them on screen i didn't even feel yeah, like i had exactly. to watch any of this shit i was just like yeah there you go i got <laughs> the whole wrestlemania experience and it was way better than it would have been if i'd actually watched wrestlemania so yeah yeah, yeah. i had a really great time with that series i sincerely hope it continues to be a yearly tradition from and you, you know, know as it and, has and been. Me 
So do I. And every, every basically every year, I think we missed one like two years ago, but the PCP boys will gather when Jesse sends us a link to watch the Royal Rumble. And it's one of my favorite. We did it like a, a month or two ago. And it's I one of my favorite it, things to do. Yeah, you, you weren't there tragically. But I think me, Jesse and, and Gib were all hanging out. I think and, I was uh, Virginia I was Beach. Was Munchie there. too. Munchie. That's right. It was a, it was a great time. It was a great time. It's like fucking dope. <laughs> uh, all these questions are bad. I think we should leave. Yeah, we wait, got, wait. I've actually got. I've got one good oh, question. I want to know what Hippo like, and Ben think are the uh, the best thing that's out right oh, now. Oh, we right. can round yeah, off yeah, on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I did. I ta- I said it was. Uh, it was. Oh. It's the Rowdy Fuckers Juvenile right. Detention. Well, Hippo, what do you think? I am um, best thing out. I mean, I like stuff. <laughs> I don't love stuff though. Oh. I don't know whether I I have like a like oh m- dude like like if I was I had an older brother that I was gonna yeah. run and try and show him how cool I am for knowing this. Well, thing, I mean, uh, there's this. I, I, I can't think of it. There's this one I character remember. I really like that you might have heard about, the Lord of Ghosts, who's really being interesting to me mm. online right now. Mm. I really like seeing what's he's, going on with that guy. He's being really interesting to me he's, online. Yeah, right that's now. what he's <laughs> doing. That's what's <laughs> happening. Uh, yes. I, but honestly, though, like, the stream you guys did of the Rowdy Fuckers Cop Killer stuff, like, doing the lore contest and stuff, that was, like, inc- that was I nice. loved that. I, like, yeah. I watched basically the whole thing, and I the lore is rich and deep, and if you, only you guys monetized it better, I would actually think it was a cool thing to spend your time <laughs> on. If <laughs> only, if only. I want to go... How the fuck do we do that? Returning, I don't know. Before I slime fucking... now is one dollar per slime. Before I, I even shut up about the, the Mania mm-hmm. Madness thing, I also have to mention that like since Jesse's come back, he always writes these unbelievably long Patreon posts for his videos that are literally mm. a second video, often with more context <laughs> than the video that you watched. So uh, also those have been a great fun to read. It's like I, I just read them out loud to uh, to May, and that's uh, like it's like I'm just getting another video out of it, basically. Well, dope. So that's cool. Dope. Oh, uh, wait, I have thing. Mm. I have thing mm. that I am in. T- I am doing currently. Mm-hmm. Uh, I asked for anime recommendations. Yeah, because Munchie wanted because I heard Munchie say he wanted anime recommendations. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I should get an anime recommendation. I went <gasps> to Twitter and Digi said something. He said uh, Gundam. I said, uh, suggested Mobile pocket. Suit Gundam. God damn it, that was me. No, he. He said, well, I don't know. I, I, I said it first, and then people I, elaborated. I, no, I told him to watch 008, because it was short. Oh, 008, okay. War in the Pocket. And I've been watching it, uh, like, one episode a day, which is, like, a, a really good way to watch something like that. And it feels like it's 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 great. It's like a Whoa. movie that's like got it's like a it's a good like action thriller yeah. adventure. I compare it to like a BBC uh, show because it's, it's just like a six episode tight compact drama, hmm. you know. Yeah, give watching it's, anime. It, it, it's huh? it's, what a it's an anime. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's concept. an anime that does not feel like an anime. It feels oh, thank like God! A good thank movie. God! <laughs> H- H- Hippo, uh, are you going to try and become an anime boy too? Because that's what I'm. Well, I don't know if I'm trying to become an anime boy, but I'm definitely trying to watch more anime. That's a definitely a direction. I'm going we to have to go anime. back. <laughs> I I'm trying to be like like an anime boy before anime became anime. <laughs> yeah, you know like I mean? the nineties and all the, the old the good all shit, the old the stuff shit. that's kind of like. Uh, to, like very very heavily influenced by actually good things like, <laughs> like old yeah, American n- not movies not the incestuous slurry of anime as it exists today of course yeah, yeah like if yeah. I see an, a picture of like a modern anime I'm like well that does just repulse me <laughs> I'd rather see something else <laughs> yeah. I mean anybody who hasn't I, seen I Gundam 0080 War in the Pocket by the way anime fans get on, get on like it it's, it's a, it's a, I consider it the best access point to Gundam simply because that's what I'm looking it's for it's only mm-hmm. six episodes it's mostly standalone. Like, there's a little bit of dialogue in the first episode that might go over your head if you don't know the show, but like the story. But it doesn't matter. It's inconsequential to the it's, TV show. Yeah, I, I've been engrossed. The characters are really well done in in terms of like having like quirks that I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I I could imagine him doing just, that as like a, as a I just want to say, a human being. My personal consultant, uh, Ukrainian Zagok, or however it's pronounced. Yes. Please, please uh, at me on Twitter, telling me if that assessment of this anime is correct, because I trust you more than anyone when it comes to anime for some reason mm. tell me if this gundam <laughs> stuff is good uh he does seem to, ha- he does I, I seem to have patrician taste this guy knows I, everything I, I, about I, I, old and, and i base that, you, Nate, and I base somebody, that almost entirely on his avatar i'm just gonna it's, tell it's you that if somebody told me they thought gundam 0080 was not good i would yeah. not trust anything they said after that okay That's you hear that ukrainian good <laughs> i consider it to high. be on Okay, all right. Hey, 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 Bo, we should have a podcast where we watch anime together uh, that we want to watch. No. We call the the, we, uh, the plebe and the plebe. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's actually do that. Yeah, I want to, yeah, let's do that. That sounds funny. You should do I, it. I, hey, hey, hey. Listen to that. So Me too. Did, so Yo, uh, here's First an actual. Soul Eater. 
that's a pretty good uh, show. Sure. It's a pretty good show. That is 50 uh, episodes you, long, just letting you know. Yeah, it is. It is. Ooh, but that's stop cool. after 25. Uh, I'll just watch all 50 at once. At also, tabs. the manga is way better, <laughs> so if you want to read the manga instead, there's also that option. But the yeah. ending. So it end. looks really good, unlike all anime, which looks really bad. Uh, basically. Yeah. Okay, hey, hey, there, there's a question here from, um, uh, this is a Twitter question. So here, everything uh, that from... director's done looks just as good, but, you know, we can get into that another day. Yeah, another that's, time. That's when I, I, when, you, when you guys reach the stage where you want to get woke, just come to me and I'll... I'll, I'll yeah, give you the other, always be there. I'll give you the did, dark side of the moon is what I'll give you. Digi, <laughs> Digi, Digi, literally what should happen is you should, ra- like, like it should be the plebe, the plebe, and the weeb. And yeah. it's me and Hippo getting to, like, an entry-level anime. And then we're like, this Not is so a bad cool, idea. we like it. And Digi's like, huh, you know, this director denied the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That, 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 that actually more. happened recently. Like, what yeah. the yeah, fuck? Like, I can't get over that. We brought that up last show, right? Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, the yeah. Japs are real sympathetic to, to, to the fucking to the fucking Krauts, you know. Uh, but whatever. What a fucking yeah, weird li- world. That, that should happen. Did you <laughs> listen? <laughs> listen to this later. question here. This is from at at not you who three. It's, it's weird. Okay. Uh, he, here's the thing. Uh, are you aware of the reach of your lectures? I have presented two of them for my students to teach how to do lectures, regardless of the subjects. Wow. Also, that munchy one, so spicy. That's the cool uh, comment. Which one? Which one? Um, wait. Well, the, the new one, of course. The new one. Okay. I have just a, came out. I have a, I have a which story. I got well, I, 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 I'm retweeting. I'm replying to this guy right now asking which one, so maybe he'll get back to us. Uh, I but actually... Okay. So, I have been recognized in public like relatively a lot recently like really yeah i was hanging Damn. out with econ and uh a, we went to this a magic we went to like a magic night and a guy there mm-hmm. knew me but that's not ah. that surprising because he knew econ oh um, yeah okay but like okay. he wasn't expecting to see me or anything but then the other day we had a party me and jackie had a party at our house and like a guy was just there i might have even run into him before and he just at some point in the night asked me like hey you're ben right i was like yeah i was like ben saint and I, and then oh. he because he, he'd seen my fucking sonichu lecture P- pulls out his little patreon subscription i mean that card. thing has like a million <laughs> fucking views right like it's yeah. like, like half a million yeah, yeah. that's fucking nuts. god that's every a lot of views day every single day that i wake up remembering that i've been saint patron it, it fills me with such glee that, that I'm able to make this happen. such malicious glee and i'm ruining the world for my fellow man i love it um <laughs> fills fills me with glee too man also i finished i finished uh signing the books they're shipping probably on oh monday. yeah yeah, yeah the vapors books are shipping on I let's say monday it. yo but but in regards to this question people like disproportionately tell me how much they love i mean with when it comes to my content people say they love the Gurren Lagann videos, uh, like the Galco video, which was just like successful in terms of numbers. But then it, the the one that's even more discussed than that is the Kingdom Hearts lecture. Got yeah. a lot of buzz, and people just are like, "Yeah, dude, that's like your best. Like it's incredible." The 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 lecture formula is such an overwhelming success. Yeah. And I got uh, on the Dick just... Show again because I made a lecture. You know, damn I, like, right. I mean, it, damn right. If I hadn't even ever it's been on there before, I probably could have gotten on. Like I. I knew as soon as I made it that I was like, this will get me on that show. Like, just by the format <laughs> so alone, it's so such did. a good you, format. You, you, you know mm-hmm, why mm-hmm. they're good? And I, by the way, it was just... my idea. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You, you, you distill that passion and raw, like, like knowledge. Yeah. And, and you're, like, yeah. otherworldly. Like, like if you have a le- – if you're doing a lecture, then it's something you care deeply about and you have that's a right. lot to say on yeah. it. So it's you just dumping your best shit in the entire world. Which is why – oh, does anybody want to hype, like – like any lectures they have planned because like the, we've never announced any i think before like way ahead of time except for like true. the guilty gear one but i think the guilty gear one got like hype by being mentioned beforehand and i that, that one did for sure i'm, I'm gonna well, go I ahead w- and say this mine because i want to encourage mm-hmm. everybody to go listen to this music in the meantime so that it'll be sure, extra sure. rewarding when i explain it i want to do a lecture on the entire lore of the first five coheed and cambria albums so that's a good one if that's you want to go choice. listen to coheed and get into their music and maybe learn a little bit about the lore uh before i fucking open it up and make you realize how fucking insane it is um yeah there you go well i i mean i, I still want to hype i want to hype tales gets trolled that's coming out real soon oh yeah mm-hmm. uh, it's almost mm-hmm. done it's almost by the time you hear this maybe it'll be out it yeah, might be out by the time this is out the, maybe mm-hmm. Other than that, I don't I know mean, what else I, I want to do. Like lecture, mm. I really wanted to do a lecture on the Digi Clips, 
But when I went to go and like look up the that's the thing where where the the people thought that the Digimon world was becoming real. Right. Right. Um, right, right. But when I went and I looked into it, <laughs> I could not like find <laughs> like I just could not find like the info that I remembered reading about it before, so I couldn't confirm any of the stuff <laughs> I remembered about it. You know what, Ben? Um, you should you should spend some deep dive time. Try to see if you can pull that up, because, hey, anything that means uh, like, I, you've told me much about that. Like, it's I incredible. I remember it's so much, but, like, I, when I went to go find it, I was like, where did it all go? It, there was yeah. so much. There was... It's, it's gotta it be might archived be, somewhere. It might be buried in, like, a something awful thread somewhere, is my yeah, best guess. Yeah. I just hope it still exists. Like, I pray... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the obvious. Pray. And if you can obvious... if you can capture it in lecture form, it'll exist for all time. So that would yeah. be great, just for historical yeah. purposes. Ooh, the obvious God. suggestion for me to do would be Homestuck, and I yeah. could do that, but I feel like it's Yawn. You know, our, our armor <laughs> chief was already there. I don't need to do that. But I just came with this just now. Mm. He, I, I like like what I like to do about lectures is stuff that has like influenced me and like you know was in my childhood and that like stuck with me and like like made me feel a certain way or like yeah. became a part yeah. of my mythos. Human history lecture, Delation, obviously. So mm-hmm. what I could do is I could explain like TF two because TF two like like not like the lore yeah. of TF two but like 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 the meta lore of TF two. It's descent into fucking retardation and, and how it was the greatest game of all time. That's a maybe. That's a pretty good idea. That's interesting. Uh, because, I, because, I, because I have like almost like three thousand hours. Are, are there game, like so. human characters you can mention yes. in this? Okay, good. Yes. Then yeah, it would Gabe Newell. Yes. Yo, I, I actually I have literally already put together a list of future lecture ideas with with various degrees of of their viability and how much research needs to be done for each one. Uh, I I'm not going to share any specific ones right now because I really like to keep things secret before I release them. But what I will say is that people have put a lot of suggestions in like the Kingdom Hearts and the like the new Final Fantasy one which is doing very well thanks everybody go watch that uh and and I'll just say that I have been taking note of the suggestions Metal Gear Solid <laughs> that that that's one that has been suggested that is true um that was so, I, I haven't uh, even you know, looked that was just a guess that actually yeah that one people suggested that one a bunch uh historically but uh yep you know just just uh, th- more will come in the future at some point everybody so uh stay tuned for the Radcon 4 oh. I want to try one. Radcon but 4 I, it, literally win. Literally, no. <laughs> I, I, want, I want to try one, but the, the, the mm-hmm. things I have are like massive undertakings. Like yeah. One of them is like an entire medium, and I'm not sure whether I should follow an artist in the medium or like describe the history of it. Oh, shit. It. What about, like, here's just a thought, like the history of the PS1. Just, like, start to finish. Well, I don't know that that much. Oh, okay, that's just like, like an example, though. I grew up though. more with the PS2. I mean, sure, sure. I, it's just, I don't know, like... I don't know what to do. Like, you got to take some time and really think about like the things. Like, for me, the most fun is when it's something that's like that no one else would have thought about at all. Like, yeah, like all the lectures have kind of been like, like you wouldn't even imagine somebody would do this, except for maybe Nate. if, well, if, even if something the like a thing Final that somebody Fantasy would have has... made a nerd writer video about, then it's not interesting. I mean, enough. Th- that's definitely true. But like, what makes in my mind the Final Fantasy and the Kingdom Hearts lectures so like like actually good is the fact that like very few people actually know yeah. all the details I in mean, all these. Learning games about and, Final and Fantasy too, Nate. I don't know yeah. if uh, you know this, but like literally mm-hmm. right after Radcon. May and yeah. I played through. I played through Final Fantasy X, and she played through Final Fantasy II. And she really? played two. I had no just, idea. Just she played through two, <laughs> just on the basis of me describing to her what you had described to me that night, like <laughs> yeah, about the game, <laughs> the fucking emperor. And uh, uh, she beat dope. the whole game. I beat ten. Finally, the first Final Fantasy game I ever fucking beat. I want to write a whole book about it. There's a lot. Congratulations. to Congratulations! Oh, dude. Uh, that, yeah, I actually uh, the first. Here's just a little tidbit. The first serious con panel I ever went to was a hardcore analysis of Titus in Final Fantasy X as the like literary ubermensch. Was the whoa. first panel I ever went to. <laughs> that it was pretty. Awesome. Yeah, I, that's that's what it was. <laughs> Speaking of lectures. Scope that was right before the this? hardcore hentai panel uh, at midnight, but go on. Check Sorry, Munchie. this comment on my lecture. Okay. This was too packed with jokes. Like, calm down, Munchie. Seriously, it makes it so the actual content is <laughs> too what? packed with jokes. Too um, packed, yeah. The spirit <laughs> science lecture was too <laughs> packed with jokes. It's like, look, this is cool and all, but, like, please tell me more about Thoth's personality. Yeah. I want to get to know the man. 
<laughs> um, um, incredible. Give me the Watch real. Give me the real poop. The point. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, uh, hashtag where the memes. Now nah, I'm done. Fucking, uh, that was actually yeah. a good question on the Twitter. So so way to go, uh, my dude. Way to go. Pretty great. Uh, I asked for better questions in the in the patron lounge, and here are the two that I got. Do not answer these. Uh, I, I I got from Mazzola Finnegan, who gives the worst head in the PCP. <laughs> uh, then we have Deep Lore is playing with the, with toys as an adult. Sad in all caps. Uh, uh wait. <laughs> Why are you, you not like going to shake? Are you going to say who their Why names are? Just like give them the credit Deep they so Lord. richly deserve. Yeah, D- D- Deep Lord is a little Finnegan. I said. Oh, oh shit! And there was one. Uh, I'm, I'm scrolling for it right now, but there was one amazing question uh, in there. We also don't answer it, but it was: What would you rather have? A 20 inch thick, two inch long cock? No, no, sorry, it was a t- t- 10 inch thick. Yeah, if anyone's wondering why it takes us so or long a to find fucking questions, a 10 inch long cock, two inches thick. Who would choose the t- the 10 inch wide cock? Why would you choose? <laughs> that even, yeah. That's not. Good. All right. It's not even Whatever. a penis at that point. Oh, I, I got to give this guy credit. Fuck. Where was it? Uh, no. God, well, it was near the top because we want. It was shame near him. the top. It was near the top. I I can't. I. God damn it. Where the fuck is it? Uh, 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 autumn in Ganymede. Yeah. Gain... Ganymede. Was that it? G- Ganymede. Ganymede. Uh, perhaps. It was their question. Yes. Oh, okay, there you go. That's it. Okay, thank you. Sorry for the delay, everybody. Right. Okay, we're done. Bye. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, oh. Hey, patreon.com slash theprocrastinators. Give us $1. You're in the patron lounge. We get questions there mostly. So there you go. You guys, you uh, know how you know this was a good episode? How's it's that? because the time flew because we were so, like, like, like in the shit. We were so in the raw shit, token up, straight up spiritually. Wait, it's yeah. two hours that I didn't even realize. Are we still yeah. recording? Is this, <laughs> is of this, course is this in the show? Yeah. We haven't yes. said goodbye Oh, yet. okay. Let's talk. All right, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Uh, no, $5 for the patron. Exclusive Fucking videos. God. We need you to buy our shit. Watch the episodes. There's 13 of them, I think. Watch them. They're good. I think there's a new one. No, maybe not. Whatever. Anyway, thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye. Good bye. 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 Yeah. Oh, weed. <laughs>